Why? This is the thirteenth time doing one of these. Woohoo! Indie horror games are either like you're on a submarine because you were sent to explore a mysterious pit in the ocean floor and you slowly realize you weren't meant to surface, or <laughs> Mr. Scrubkiss is gonna get you. Don't let him get you. And Mr. Scrubkiss is the one everyone talks about. Yeah. Go touch grass. Me with potted plants inside my house. Do not interact unless you answer my riddles three. Riddle one, what is your name? Riddle two, what is your quest? Riddle three, what has 13 hearts and no other organs? Texas confession. I've never seen snow IRL. I posted this and it snowed like two inches a week later for the first time in like 35 years. Texas Confessions. I've never had a million dollars. Hey, uh, Tomboy? Is this Attack on Titan? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it seems right. Listen, in this household, respect your ancestors. They all lived and died for you. Tumblr shouldn't have given me the ability to talk in big text. Giant's Trumpet! <laughs> Do you ever decide to gaslight a woman so badly that she becomes a plan just to get away from you? Is that what happened in Kirby Triple Deluxe? Peeling those sour rainbow gummy strips into long thin strings and putting them into cheap energy drink to create something I'm calling battery acid spaghetti. We'll update once I've finished it. Don't, don't do this. Hey, don't tell me what to do. Don't do this. Whenever I see post-apocalyptic films set in the USA where everyone is pretty much just killing each other with no mention of other nations, I always just assume that the rest of the world is fine and has learned how to resume life as normal. Should we do something about the Americans? Nah. What do you mean I don't know how to flirt? I literally tell you random and unimportant fun facts. Why aren't you wooed? I'm such a water drinker, like literally, um, gulp, gulp. I don't believe you. Writing prompt. God said to Noah, Gather two of every animal so they may survive the flood. Even the Pokemon? Even the Pokemon. It's so hard being a silly goose in this anti whimsy society. You barely even have room to frolic nowadays. Ugh. Hey, if Tom the dies, here's a list of places you can find me. The Woods at 3.48 a.m. People new to Tumblr are angry about being blocked or writing huge paragraphs about why they chose to block someone like, I promise you, it's not that deep. I once blocked someone because their block was obnoxiously orange and I hate the color orange. Hey, LP, after I reblog this, I'm blocking you because I fucking love orange. Fuck you. Every time I see a bunch of posts from Neil Gaiman on my feed, I'm like, Neil, you're procrastinating writing again, aren't you? Neil? Vampire doctors that can smell if you have a blood disease. Werewolf therapy animals for sick kids. Nature sprite and nymph nurses that always make sure people have pretty flowers to brighten up their white rooms. Fawns that go around and sing and dance for patients so that they smile. Nice monster hospitals would be amazing. Succubus nurses that give you the sook before you die. <sighs> Thanks, Tumblr users, Galuigi. Hey, would Magneto be able to lift Mjolnir? That's it. Huh. Hey, uh, if someone without a gender experiences romantic or sexual attraction, does that make them the gay agenda? This is my beautiful son. His name is Steam Steam Apps Common. Wow. Music is weird. Humanity found out how to hit the air in the right way, and now we argue which is better. It's all the same in the end. Stop arguing. That is... Ooh. <laughs> That's a hot take. Bro, you just triggered my dynamic display, bro. I'm flaring my wings and bobbing my head while hissing at you, bro. B -b Please be scared of me. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, stop saying that I, an autistic person, remind you of Sheldon Cooper. This is not the compliment that you think it is. And no, I will not say Bamungus. Nowadays, so many Tumblr posts are just about Tumblr. We're running into things to talk about. I switched my trash can with my neighbors today because theirs is nicer. You! Now that's a deep dive Tumblr joke right there. Good luck finding it. This character is not canonically bisexual. Yeah, to you. I know them personally. It's called parasocializing, Sharon. 
past me is an idiot and future me is a bastard. I only exist in the present. <laughs> like, is this like that part of Homestuck where Car Cat argues with himself through paradox time? Hey, how many fingers do you have? Ten? How many do you intend to keep? <sighs> Mario only saves Peach to get a kiss on the cheek. Wrong! Mario saves Peach because she's his friend and he loves her and also because he's a good person who wants to help others. The cheek kiss is merely a nice bonus. Also, have you ever had a cheek kiss? It's pretty great. Bowser, are you homophobic? You think I'm scared of gay people? I'm Bowser! Technology is amazing. I haven't been able to get the full video, but we just celebrated one of our steam locomotives turning 145 by checking a chocolate cake into our firebox. Can you just imagine making a whole chocolate cake only to throw it into the firebox? But also, happy birthday, I guess. Aw, isn't it cute? Picture of the wettest, most pathetic-looking guy you've ever seen. Ah, uh, the bucky spoon, scringly do, the shrunkle scrumblo. Important note to all Dracula fans. Coca-Cola was invented in 1886, and the story is set in 1897. This means you can authentically hint a Coca-Cola in any and all fan work set around the book's time period. Not that it's very impressive since Dracula himself wouldn't drink it, but certainly the American suitor can. Van Helsing absolutely wired on classic cocaine Coca-Cola defeating Dracula. I need this in my life. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but did you know that carrying a sword is generally illegal and they are considered firearms? They're considered the same as guns, what? My mom keeps asking me shit like, Have you drank anything today? And, Do you need to take a break? And, How damn long is it going to take you for you to finish your math? Like, what math you mean? <laughs> what math? Jeff Kinney announces new series, Diary of an Even Wimpier Kid. When asked for details, he replies, You thought that poor son of a bitch was wimpy. <laughs> you haven't seen shit yet, brother. In a shocking move of one-upsmanship, Lincoln Pierce, author of the Big Nate series, has countered Kinney's announcement with his own. My new series is called Bigger Nate, Pierce said, and he's, he's huge now. Just the, just the biggest motherfucker you've ever seen. Tumblr is my bedroom this, and Tumblr is a pinboard that. Tumblr is an apartment complex with thin walls, and every so often you just have to listen to your neighbor say the most deranged shit imaginable. We all vacuum at the same time. Um, hey, sorry if this is stupid, but the Earth has, like, mountains and valleys and stuff, you know? So I don't see how it can be flat. If there's mountains and stuff, sorry if it's stupid, I'm sorry. My Nana thinks the Earth is cube and mountains are just the corners. T -t Tell your Nana to text me. Doctor, I'm sorry, but we had to remove your colon. Me, why? Wait, zoom in. Jeff, you son of a bitch. Neither alive nor dead, but a secret third thing. At sea. If you aren't at least vaguely aware of your friend's digestive system issues, are you even friends? Like, bro, do you know that your best friend has IBS? Do you? Normalize that getting a cutie mark in elementary school. Normalize grown stallions and men without a cutie mark. Normalize never getting your cutie mark. Mm hmm. Mad because you're a blank flank, aren't you? Shut your mouth! Making my humidifier and dehumidifier participate in a cruel and pointless war. The title cloudy with a chance of meatball acronyms in an unusually pronounceable way. Quackum. It's not even a stretch. You could just say it like a normal word. You don't usually get that with titles that long. Why didn't Flynn name the machine that? That would have been clever. Hey, Frank, what's your special attack and what does it do? My special attack, uh, Wormageddon, does something to do with worms. I bet it's an apocalyptic rain of worms. God couldn't strike me down even if they tried. I've lived through my worst and I'm still here. In fact, I'm pretty sure God did try. I don't know when, but they did. That's how living out of spite works, folks. I'm sorry, are you renowned Jojo villain Dio Brando? Oh, what funky bad choices will I make today? Oh, nobody knows. Look out, world. Jane's coming. So Elon Musk decided to ruin Twitter. Guys, you know what this means? The Twitter users are migrating to Tumblr, dear God. It was because of the stinky line picture, wasn't it? We did it, Andy. We destroyed Twitter. Weakness.
a black cat rusting, tote coating a lighter brown shade in sunlight. <gasps> Just like Cokey Cola. The funniest rich kid court defense is definitely, Yeah, and my client is a spoiled brat who can't function in the real world, so how can he possibly comprehend the consequences of crime? And it works. I'm pretty sure Velma tried to do that and flubbed the execution horribly. Men who have made having a big epic beard their whole personality are so fascinating. Same with the one who whacks their mustaches into that pointy handlebar style, so they look like a whimsical 1850s candy store owner. What's going on with you, bro? Hey, Rondo, don't ask about my business. Probably a bad RPG idea. Simplify the alignment system by having everything be either red or blue. My alignment is true purple. <sighs> Classic Tumblr response. PM, I'm curious to see if you'll put random Discord notification sounds in a video, just to see if people will fall for it. Sounds evil. I like it. Hey, uh, can you pick me up if I'm drunk? I don't have to anymore. I'm home now. Yes, I was aware of that after dropping you off at home. <laughs> this is too funny to me. One time I dreamt I went into a public bathroom and the person in the stall next to me stated my full name and address and started retelling my entire life story as I fearfully tried to shit faster. Good God. Sounds like a shitty way to get doxxed. We uh, are a society. Need to put more focus on robotic love interests who are quite literally just giant fucking computers. This girl is a big blocky machine. Takes up a whole room, not a single limb in sight. Everything she says is barely comprehensible because her voice sounds so weird. Yes, it does make her 50 times sexier. Who is Gladys? Not a chance in hell, pretty boy. Yeah, you saw the title. We're doing this. My wife threatened to leave me due to my obsession with the monkeys. I didn't think she was serious. And then I saw her face. What happens if you cross an angry cow with an angry sheep? You get two animals that are in a bad mood. Does no one say YOLO anymore? Or are they all dead? I asked my German friend, what's a three letter word for compete? My friend said, "Vai," And I said, because I'm trying to finish a crossword, what do you call a fake Sudanese person? A Sudonese. I started a band with friends called 999 megabytes. Still haven't gotten a gig though. I went to a friend's house and he said, make yourself at home. So I threw him out. I hate having people over. I just read that someone in New York gets stabbed every 52 seconds. <sighs> Ooh, poor guy. I'm also in a band called the Palindromes. Our first single is called, If I Had a Hi-Fi. What do you call a pot of singing killer whales? An orcapella group? If pro is the opposite of con, then what's the opposite of progress? How many potatoes does it take to kill an Irishman? None. The waiter came to my table and asked, do you want a box for your leftovers? So I knocked his ass out with a left hook. I once dated a girl with a twin. People used to ask me how I told them apart. Well, Lisa painted her fingernails red and Bob had a... I met a girl at a bar and we went back to hers and started making out on the sofa. She gave me a cheeky look and said, I think we should take this upstairs. Okay, I said, you carry one end and I'll get the other. Be careful getting through the door frame and we'll come back down for the cushions. Freddie Mercury, Bruno Mars, and Venus Williams all walk into the same bar. But they didn't plan it. Did you know it's impossible to eat baklava underground? Because then it's bak magma. How can you tell the difference between a nerd and someone with a BDSM fetish? Ask them what a dungeon master is. How do you get 30 Canadians out of a pool? You say, okay everybody, it's time to get out of the pool. Whoever coined the term delivery for childbirth made a big mistake. It should have been called takeout instead. 3,027 years from today, life will either be really good or really bad. It's 50-50. You can't keep getting away with it! The most dangerous kind of canoes are Vulcanoes. I'm going to pronounce it like that now. Talking about your pet. Oh, they're my little guy, my fluffy, silly troublemaker. Talking to your pet. You're a threat to society. You're a menace and a terrorist and a war criminal. You're remorseless and silly, my funny little guy. These are my 16 kids. Pawn, 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 rook, Knight, Bishop, Queen, King, Bishop, Knight, and Rook. Ugh, just found out my neighbors named all her 16 kids after mine. Okay, everyone, line up. For whom the Sneef snorfs? Does the Sneef snore for you? I thought not. Get out of here. I miss them. Fictional character I think about literally every single day. 
Being in your 20s is about experiencing the worst thing you can imagine, and then having to go to the grocery store. Behold, the sheepdog puppy herds entire flock into owner's kitchen. That's a prodigy. You missed the best part. They weren't even their sheep. This good puppy gathered up a bunch of rain of sheep it found somewhere on the countryside and brought them home for its human. I love them. Fantasy authors are now banned from titling their books anything to do with crowns, thorns, precious metals, roses, blood or bones. You have to think of something else now. Hmm. Hats, prickles, tinfoil, dandelions, bile, and cartilage. I hate loopholes. My roommate's boyfriend is playing D&D online, FaceTime, I don't know, in the next room, and mostly he's quiet. But he just erupted out in a scratchy character voice. Where are my socks? Are they in your mouth? Spit them out right now! What kind of campaign is he playing? An average one. You know what? You are so right. Also, this is, this is the time for me to tell you, Andy. If we ever get to do another character for another campaign, I'm doing a goblin and you can't stop me. No offense. I mean, no offense, really. But I hate seeing these normal-ass people at the top of my page. Th these fucking normals. Normal weirdo freaks. Bucky, has anyone ever told you how right you are about everything ever? Yes, of course. Literally all the time. Whose job is it to shave a kiwi to make a hacky sack? Uh, what did you just say? His big, doleful eyes and violently self-destructive tendencies have captivated me. Yes, baby girl. You are a very handsome young man. There needs to be a bad romance movie about someone falling in love with the Tumba Mutual. It's called The Feeling is Mutual. Soda Butch out here being funnier than me on my own post. I think everyone who enjoyed this post back in 2021 should know that I am now dating the person that inspired it. The feeling was mutual. Uh... I have three moods. Skips every song on my iPod. Lets the music play without interruption. And plays the same song and repeat for days. What's an iPod? Been on Tumblr so long, my text post is outdated. <laughs> Fucking oof. 1910s guys who call including left-handed characters and stories FORCED DIVERSITY! Why are people who do cool things always so weird? I have a startling truth to keep from you. About the relationship between cool and weird. What is it with Tumblr users and biting? I bet you people have never bitten someone IRL. Get a load of the only child! Big nocturnals, some massive haunters, some humongous spunk donk killers! For fuck's sakes, I can't believe I had to do this myself. Big supernaturals! I'm gonna stop you right there. For fucker's sake! Boobs! Literally right there! Pet beds were on sale, and I had a coupon, so Guts got a new bed. It's very plush, he likes it a lot. That's a weird looking dog, but he's still a cute dog. You know, it's nice you bought a bed for your croissant. The vampires got it right. Life is about being bisexual and a little bit pathetic and going through different levels of depressive episodes. Except that guy right there. That guy got it all wrong. Do you ever look at your character designs closer and their actions and realize you've accidentally doomed them from the start? That somehow their own fate had wormed its way into what they do and look like long before even happens to them? Yep. To their learn, paper airplanes were not created to mimic real airplanes. They predate them. Thought this meant they were predators to them. A massive cloud of paper airplanes descending upon a 747, and when they disperse, all that's left is a massive airliner skeleton picked perfectly clean of all flesh. The closest scene you can get to this is the one from Spirited Away. You know the one. You've heard of Eldritch Blast, now get ready for Eldritch Blast! Does the same thing as Eldritch Blast, but the target must also roll a constitution save after, or they are cursed to only speak in uwu, no matter who they are. And if they already speak in uwu, because I knew that question was coming, they are forced out of it. Beware. Python is the JavaScript of programming languages. What? 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 Eventually, you realize you don't want to die. You just don't want to live the life you're living, and slowly you try to create a life you want to live. You just gotta start there. No one needs to add sounds fake, but okay. No. Well, not me. Impossible. Etc. to this post. And I'd rather you not. One day you think, I want to die. And then you think very quietly, actually, actually, I, I think I want a coffee. A nap, a sandwich, a book. And I want to die turns day by day into, I want to go home. I want to walk in the woods. I want to see my friend. I want to sit in the sun. I want a cleaner kitchen. 
I want a better job. I want to live somewhere else. I want to live. And I'm going to say this right now. As you get older, it gets easier to get to that mindset. Trust me. Warning, remote areas ahead. For the next thousand miles, it's just you and whatever human-lizard hybrids the genetic labs discarded here. Is that a promise? Road trip, who's coming? When you zone out so hard that you go cross-eyed. Sims 4 becoming trans-positive has led to some of the funniest UI elements I've ever seen. Can this sim produce milk? That's, that's very personal, Sims 4. Stop. My friend just gave me a presentation on why I should invest in the sword-making business. He made some excellent points. Jeff! Everyone more pretentious than me is an insufferable poser, and everyone less pretentious than me is a clueless philistine. What if someone is somehow exactly as pretentious as you? Romantic and sexual partner. Writing prompts. Turns out there is a special place in hell, but it's not for the worst. It's for good souls, so utterly convinced they're hellbound, so they can repent and accept they are indeed good people. That is called purgatory. You know what? I'm just going to copy-paste the entire text of Dante's Purgatorio and hope Tumblr doesn't crash. Please don't. Fucking superb, you funky little death omen. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a harbinger, and it's time to stalk. PM, why does Sana look like a Pixar mom? Not mean, silly question, and I love her design. All right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to stop this meme dead in its tracks, even though I know you meant this as a little gag. And for that, too much, Dan, I'm sorry. But there are probably only three characters in Pixar out of the 20-ish moms that even fit the Pixar mom joke. Helen Parr, Laurel Lightfoot, and maybe Andy's mom, probably not really. The rest are either pretty tame proportions, monsters, a toy, a car, or an animal. The girl that most likely people think about is the girl from the Brain and Heart animated short Inner Workings. And that was Disney Animation Studios themselves, not Pixar. For the love of God and legs, y'all need a better joke. Oh, to answer your question, my son is shaped like that. Mermaid, and it's cool. All right, all right. There's a house in my attic, part two. This is how Skyrim dungeons are designed. Our house, in the middle of your house, our house. Behold, Conga boy. Mm, I think you mean Butter the Slop. And now a quick lesson on how spelling can completely change the meaning of a sentence. OMG, that was a fun morning. I haven't laughed that hard in a while. My brain is running on a monkey with symbols and a bit of anxiety and Red Bull. What about you? Hey, just go up to someone you know and say out of nowhere, just so you know. I'm not gaslighting you. Alternatively, go up to a person that's having a good time and whisper the words, hashtag unreality. Me when I remember something I said ages ago that was wrong or my values no longer are aligned with. <laughs> I love how 80s cartoon villains can't actually curse, so they say things like nincompoops and fools. Just imagine like a six foot tall man in the wildest outfit you've ever seen running at you with a laser rifle or something and yelling Fool! at you at the top of his lungs. Absolutely insane. Yeah, we forgot to teach your boyfriend media literacy and he completely misunderstood all the themes and narratives. Yeah, the underlying message too. Hmm. He got tricked into believing in universe propaganda and is writing a long post about it now. Sorry. Hey, Frank, I'm having some difficulty identifying this animal. What is it? A gay guy. Not to alarm anyone, but there is a fictional man loose in my brain. Keep an eye out. I wish all users I don't recognize anymore because they changed their usernames and icons, but I keep following them while mildly confused. A very pleasant evening. You know who you are, which is great because I don't. Back when I used to walk around my college in corduroy blazer and slacks, I didn't call it dark academia. I called it Professor Drag. And the purpose was to smoothly walk into parts of campus I wasn't supposed to access. <laughs> the world is beautiful. We have transgender people and images. And we have sandwiches. I added the Maridan picture because Maridan loves trans people and images. Maridan also loves sandwiches. It's like you didn't even play the game.
Tisk tisk. You know when something goes wrong or something just breaks and you go get someone to hopefully fix it, but as soon as you show it, it just gets magically fixed. Is this a curse or a blessing? You know, Magical Girl shows really did snap when they assigned personality traits based off the members' colors. Pink, commander and the leader, probably really nice and sweet. Blue, probably very close to pink, is either 100% IQ smarty pants, but shy, or very tough and cool. Yellow and orange, very happy and positive. Can vary from being newbie of the group to be older and mature, probably known as the beautiful one. Purple, mysterious, usually starts off as a rival or joins the group later, but is definitely known to the members as another magical girl. Probably has a softer side they don't show. And don't forget green, more mature and very reliable. And then there's red. Mad. Teletubbies. Okay, but this implies the existence of a lost pink Teletubby, a fallen leader too painful to talk about anymore. Tubby Custard. The amount of women who make their self-insert Fook Vulpes in Culta is astonishing, not just because he's a slaver, but because you meet him in game like this. He looks like a shoe leather, Gajinka. Yeah, he looks like he sells racism door to door. <laughs> My favorite genre of Pokemon plush. Taking powerful and intimidating legendary Pokemon and turning them into little guys. Trademark. Just saw an adult man growl at a QR code on the wall. Yeah, was, sorry, that, 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 that was me. Writing prompt. Due to a paperwork filing error, you, a terrifying demonic creature, are now trapped in a contract with a small little girl. She is constantly summoning you to play tag, check for monsters in the closet, or look at her drawings. It's truly torture. I'm pretty sure that's an anime somewhere. To the people who sleep with their light on, one question. How do you sleep when letting them know where you are? Being ADHD is like being a cryptid, and when you trust someone enough, you're like, I will now show you my true form! Pucky Cho, do you have anything to say on Trans Visibility Day? Hold up, comically small microphone. Rise up. Attack. Destroy. Lay waste to the land also. Thanks, Pucky. Writing prompt. Death offers a game for your life. And you decide on D&D. &D. I assumed you've never played, I asked. The cloaked figure across from me shook their heads slowly. Great, I said. I'll be the DM. I'll walk you through everything. First, character creation. Six hours later, Death sat leaned over the table with a Mountain Dew in one hand and a D20 in the other. Their hood was thrown back to reveal a bleached, grinning skull. We were in the company of four infernals from the depths of the abyss. I don't remember which of us invited each of them. Turned out we had a, quite a few friends in common. They rolled a one. Ooh, tough luck, I said with a smile. Five newts at Fumbles AU, where Foxy sounds like Mr. Krabs and refers to Freddy exclusively as Mr. Fazbear. Hey, I mean, how is that not canon already? I'm sorry, all I could think of is the meme with Mr. Krabs going, Mr. Squidward, I should kick your f- There are two types of OCD people. The ones who keep their volume at an even number, and the ones who keep it at a multiple of five. Despite decades of bloodshed, the two factions are locked and in eternal stalemates. This war truly has no end in sight. And time to cause chaos in the comments. Multiples of five are the correct answer. All right, have fun! When you're angry at the characters, the story is well written. When you're angry at the writers, it is not. The presumption here is that the audience can tell the difference. Presuming they're not children, the audience can usually tell. Example, when a character does something you don't like, but it feels like something the character would do, you get mad at the character. When a character does something you don't like, and the history of that character makes it unbelievable that the character would do that thing, you get mad at the writers. I am looking at you, Game of Thrones. What did you do to Daenerys? Ever have that insatiable urge to bite something that you usually shouldn't? A leather chair? Your phone? A seat in a car? A book? Something with just the right amount of squishiness to it that you can sink your teeth into it without breaking it? Or is that just me? Clowns with dementia, call that, uh, call that, uh, call that. <sighs> what, what, what was I talking about? Aw, that's not funny. Are you guys okay? Sometimes I get the vibe that you're at your wit's end. Fairy Cosmos, you have no idea! 
I predict that it's going to take approximately two hours after Tears of the Kingdom's launch for Nintendo to regret the amount of power they gave us. Yep, gonna make an extremely long spear, probably 24 long spear, and call it my personal space stick. I've never seen snow. Someone please describe it to me. It smells like water. It's like I'm there. The fact that the unpublished book series that only exists in my head doesn't have a fandom yet may be one of the greatest crimes in literary history. I know, right? We tricked our hens into hatching out the rarest baby peacocks. Wow, epic chicken prank. Wow, now they got the chickens doing YouTuber face. <laughs> oh my god! Hmm, someone I care about told me that I'm a mediocre artist and I should spend my time on things that actually make money. This will take me several business days to recover from. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you, my test subjects are treated with the highest respect. Does being given the highest quality juice rewards sound like a human rights violation to you? So what if I keep them in cages? They love the cages! Why does this sound like the doctor from TF2? That's how I lost my medical license. <laughs> Secret hug techniques to be used only in dire emergencies. The Heimlich? Crazy how many people want characters in fiction to speak and act like they've had 20 hours of intensive therapy. Could not be me. I want these bitches fucked up insane! Just so you know, bimbo and himbo aren't gender locked. Female himbos and male bimbos. And I can drown some female himbos. We need another one of those words like exactly and literally. Who's gonna get on that? <clears throat> you rang. Twitter's like, do not interact with me unless you are a perfect clone of me. And Tumblr's like, hi, you share exactly one interest with me. Would you like to subliminally influence each other's thought patterns through funny text posts until we develop a hive mind? Yeah? Cool. Zeus sent you a message. Odin sent you a new message. What is this, a crossover episode? My advice to you, run. Hey, face out of Tumblr, I got a question. What happens if you just straight up refuse to give up Faye your name? Do they like give it up or do they do everything in their power to trick you into giving them your name? I'll tell you. Gotta have your name first though. No. Nah. Listen, pal. The subtitles stay on. If you ever see me posting something cringe or embarrassing, I didn't say that. That was my evil twin, my doppelganger. Yeah, it's me, by the way. Uh, hello? Cringe is okay. In moderation, my friend. Oh god, this is gonna confuse people who are just listening and not looking at the video. Critics be like, watches a cartoon movie about a video game character everyone thinks is good. This is the worst movie I have ever seen. Critics also like, watches something that lots of people hate because of the amount of jokes about something that shouldn't be joked about. This one is true art. Best movie ever. And this is why, as human beings with normal emotions and experiences, should criticize the critics. Thanks, John Manda. Doctor, $140,000 a year. Furry artist on Patreon, $160,000 a year. I think you're lowballing the furry art amount, to be honest. I'm sorry for the inaccuracies, Dr. Yiff. No matter how much I respond to this, I don't look good. Well played. I walked right into that. Well, furry artists are typically more competent and courteous than your average doctor, so I can see that. Did you just legitimately tell me that a person who draws wolf ass is more competent than a dude who spent eight years in a university to give you your lung transplant? Did you? My grand grand used to say, only trust people who went through the ringer and stayed nice people. Now that I'm older, I think I get what she means. Yeah. Setting a trap for the haiku bot. We ain't good tonight, yeehaw. Setting a trap for haiku bot. We are eating. Good tonight, yeehaw. I look for accidental haiku posts. Sometimes I mess up. Oh yeah, there. Go sick em, boys. We got that damn haiku bot. We'll roast him good. Nobody was scared when the clown invasion started at the beach. I mean, it's just one boat, they said. How bad can it be? Oh, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. How would you go about killing a false god? Get a real god and make them fight to the death. Does the average man get enough sleep? What is enough sleep? What is the average man? What is does? The San Francisco Examiner, California, February 25th, 1935. Sometimes I think humankind hasn't changed at all. What is does? I don't think any of you understand how important I am to the plot. You can kill me off, but everyone will stop watching. All right, Comets. Name the character. Diversity win! The evil, deranged, mad scientist doing sick, fucked up experiments on you is gay and trans! Hooray! Cool. Poor girl broke her favorite sitting basket. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm sorry, but this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. Her beats are sticking out. Look at her. Call out post. Oh, is anyone there? Been stuck in Tumblr for 10 years. Help. My favorite emotion is when someone does something kind of foolish and all you can say is, I love you, in response. Top tier emotion. I don't have a single evil bone in my body, but I do have 206 very scared bones. I think furniture legs should be carved into little animal feet again. I think that would solve a lot of problems. Andy, put up your favorite furniture animal foot. That's a good one. Floating face down in a cranberry bog, divested of ego, gleaning the wisdom of berries, the secret of small fruits. Everyone is pointing out that spiders, as if the wisdom of cranberry spiders is less potent, as if I don't welcome their spiritual input. Yeah, I'm doomed by the narrative, but I have a little time to be absolutely gay, putting my inevitable death on pause to be a homosexual for a second. You know, there are things in my tags you guys should be saving for a priest or a therapist. Not me with a folder full of 480 pictures of Lego Riddler. And they're never the things I expect. Sometimes you just gotta have a blurbo. Bitches be like, I'm so tired and sleepy. And then stay up doing hyperfixation shush for the next five hours. It's me. I'm bitches. The only way to win Tumblr is to ascend reality and post you tumbling back down. This is the only way. <gasps> oh my god, that's why it's called that. Thank you, uh, massive <laughs> milk bags. A computer mouse is the computer's hand, and you are holding hands when you scroll the internet. <gasps> oh my. Do you all think siblings in medieval times would look at the little beasts in the limited manuscripts and point at each other like, ha! Tis thou. I wish. I think someone deserves to be called pretty by someone who means it, and this should happen often. Yes. Cis people think trans people have this dead name and chosen name. But honestly, we have name, other name, dead name, business name, old nickname only some people have rights to use, online name, and an extra special secret name you don't get to know. Unless... Winky face. And there's another one. Love the word be things like... <laughs> yeah, me sure is thinksin'. Me thinks, therefore me am. The special relationship between a person and their saddest, wettest OC. It's just a little scrunkles. I find your lack of whimsy disturbing. Don't like it. I hope Barbie is so good, it makes every executive that's turned everything bright and fun made for young girls into edgy, boring teen dramas for the last 10 years spontaneously combust into flames. And based on the trailers, we're off to a good start. Can I ask you something? My immediate reply says, go for it. But my mind has already gone through the seven stages of grief. Do you think kids during the Industrial Revolution had that same weird millennial Gen Z experience of having technology change so much while they're growing up? A middle-aged man in the 1890s condescendingly explaining what a candle is, and the 13-year-old's like, Okay, governor. You learned the word miscellaneous from The Sims and don't even lie. No. I learned it from Oregon Trail. Uh, no, I learned how to spell it from the same place I learned how to spell learned English class. Well, good for you. What's your process for creating characters? Imagine a weirdo. Give him one or more of my character flaws. And then figure out how to hurt them. I'm sorry. Frat boy vampire draining someone while his bros chant, Jack, Jack, Jack! Mutuals. This could be us. Open up a boy with the cold lens. <laughs> Opening up a boy with the cold lens. Why are they fucking at me? Hey, you keep mentioning you don't know how Tumblr works. I'd be perfectly happy to lie to you if you want to know more. Uh, okay, what's the funniest lie you have about how Tumblr works? Well... You can find posts by searching for them with the search bar. I just found out bunnies wag their tails when they're excited, just like dogs. Uh, from the moon? Impact crater? Oh my god, Andy. Sianna's real. Drake? Josh? Where's the body of Christ? Glowing hot metal is such a touchable shade of orange. I'm a welder, and... 
this, let me tell you, this does not go away if you're around a lot of hot metal. It's actually worse. Sometimes Google image search gives you an unrelated photo that was better than what you were looking for in the first place. Look at that majestic man. Ugh, why are you in the girls? Have you seen them? Studies have found including eyes on signs or walls significantly deters nearby crime. That would deter nearby anything. The mosaic sees your sins. Turning on hot water in my tub and boiling myself like a lobster to rid myself of the pains. Ugh, turn me into soup. Doomed by the narrative, haunted by the narrative, and a secret third thing. Narrating the narrative. Cusco? You are the only person I respect. Hey, yeah, your boyfriend drank an entire cooler full of monster energy drinks. Yeah, his name's Kyle now. Punched a hole in our drywall. Yeah, he's making you pay for the damages. Sorry. I have no idea why it's my go-to voice for those bits. He ate all the golf balls. Absolute mongrel. Feed him more. Pee-pee poo-poo. Somebody has spent their real-life money to blaze this. Real. Life. Money. Andy, is this your secret account? Hey, just so you know, OP of that post you reblog, let the dogs out. Who? 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 I go to the Louvre. I'm sorry, I mean Louvre. And step in front of the Mona Lisa. I open my notes app and draw a stick figure with a single line for hair. I am escorted out by security. Probably bad RPG ideas. On a critical success at a perception check, you see... Oh, I miss my sentinel shield. Of course it goes without saying that I am hopelessly dependent on the ingot. Look at it. Either fucker weekend's only two days long. Do you really think that's enough to recover from the horrors of the work week? Really? Gets excited about the story I'm about to act out in my head before I sleep. Oh, it's gonna be good. I'm on some kind of gay-ass journey. Comments? Name the show. I present Frog. Very round and happy. 10 out of 10. You know, every culture has their ethnic donut, and every culture has their ethnic dumpling. Humans be frying dough. Every culture also makes a sword. If they got metal, they make a sword. If they don't have metal, they take obsidian or shark teeth or whatever it is they've got, and they make that into a sword. Coincidence? I think not. Two constants in all civilizations. Tasty fried food. And danger murder sticks. Calling the police is so five years ago. Strike true fear into the hearts of criminals by saying you're gonna tell their mothers. No, please don't. Don't date someone who doesn't put the grocery cart back in the cart return. It's called creating jobs. Actually, it's called not being rude and making someone's job easier. Pours a box of cornflakes directly on the floor in aisle seven. It's called creating jobs, sweetie. I made my first Photoshop thing. I love it. Never have I seen anything that more perfectly encapsulates the personality of a beta fish. I think the university course database should have a filter to only show classes taught by extremely old people who are insane. Professors of a tenure. Got it. All body is body horror because having a body is scary. All psychology is psychological horror because thinking is scary. All survival is survival horror because being alive is scary. No, 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 you don't understand. I want to watch this show slash movie, read this book, listen to this podcast, but I must be in the right mindset and the exact headspace to begin or I just can't. All right, name it. Today I learned blind people have a hard time drawing because they interpret the world as three-dimensional and struggle to portray it as two-dimensional. And here I am, an idiot, thinking it's because they can't see. Let's see, things that are covered by your wizard insurance. Let's see here. Hmm, top surgery, bottom surgery, witch encounters, one per century, killed by Greg. Ooh, middle surgery, that's a new one. Putting a glue trap under my fridge to lure out my Blorbos. Come on out, you little snot bags. Find out your gay name. Your first name plus gets down on one knee. My last name. My favorite thing about Sweeney Todd is that Sweeney gets into the killing and baking people business because he's a deeply broken man destroyed by an unjust and corrupt system that cost him his freedom and family and has been driven mad by revenge. And Mrs. Lovett does it because something wrong with her. The trope where a character overhears something out of context and assumes the worst is usually annoying and bad, but I think it works really well in Shrek. We, the audience, know that Fiona is talking about herself. But regardless, she's calling herself these terrible things because she is an ogre. If Fiona is these things because she is an ogre, what does that make Shrek? 
If Fiona says no one could love her because she's an ogre, she is saying that Shrek is also unlovable whether she wants to or not. In my opinion, the scene is a really good portrayal of how when you talk poorly of yourself or others for having a trait, you're also talking about every other person who shares that trait, even if you love them or think what you're saying doesn't apply to them. Not going to lie, I saw the word Shrek and never expected this to be a deep post. On the Being Deep About Shrek website, Give your bunnies a smooch on the snoop for me today. Please. I don't have a bunny. You guys like dice? How about a one and three quarter pound dice forged out of solid steel? Roll for damage. Throw for damage. To put it how my friend Keston said best, there's no table that will survive that roll. Writers will be like, here's my current work in progress. Can't wait to share more. And then you never hear about it again. Uh, worst. Imagine a world where the oxygen density of the atmosphere is higher and you can have a bee that is cat sized and you can pet your bee like a cat. <laughs> that would be nice. Why do I feel the urge to make another teleporter, but this time I teleport to the past? Have you considered instead teleporting bread? Yeah, it did not go well. We need to talk about this. Who is he? Is he okay? Who is his friend? Is his friend okay? I swear if his friend is not okay, so help me! I love you, media without romance. And I especially love you, character-centric media that explores the bonds between characters but still has no romance. May I offer you Hollowed Bonds by Andy. Andy, plug it now. Do it. Timepiece with the fewest moving parts, Sundial. Timepiece with the most moving parts. Hourglass. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, what? Perceive the tantrum hole. Uh, I think you mean the waste pipe for the cream cheese frosting factory? No, that's a goose that is definitely venting into the void. <coughs> Guy who just had like three weeks to do several things and didn't do them. Boy, I need a week off. <sighs> Mood. What's the trope name for when someone finds out they're the chosen one and is like, no thank you, and goes and does something else? Common sense. Gifted kid burnout. Yeah, the refusal of the call is the actual trope name, usually followed by the tropes of the call knows where you live and you can't fight fate. The call is trying to contact you about your destiny's extended warranty. <laughs> Trades my imperfect flesh for the immortality of the machine. You know, Reavengeance should have ended that way. We need bear girls. And I don't mean skinny, cutesy teddy bear girls. We need fat bear women who catch salmon in their jowls and eat cigarettes like that Polish bear from WW2. We need built bear girls that climb trees and terrorize picnics. Andy, just put up your favorite sample of this character, please. So let's get ready to crumble. God, I hope she steps on me. Person who is chronically outside. They see discourse and just go, who? Man, this is just like when two sparrows want the same sunflower seed. I'm sorry, did you mean wander? Need a full body massage, a margarita, 400 milligrams of ibuprofen, a plate of brownies, at least an hour in a jacuzzi, and $20,000 cash. The mouse after you give him a cookie. Due to not wanting to, I will not. Thanks. The only people who get upset when you set boundaries are the ones who benefited from you having none. That's why they perceive it as a personal attack. Because your boundary enroaches on space they were used to owning. Yours. It did psychic damage to me, seeing both Spider-Verse and Barbie trending at the same time. The girlies. The girlies have been fed. Look out, they're frothing today. Someone who doesn't watch Markiplier, explain this picture. Mankind attempted to invent a combustible banana, but he got sad about the results. You know what? Sorry, Mark, that's what happened now. Why is it so easy to get a headache? Like, I'm just trying to do my work and enjoy my time, but then my brain decides, no, nah, you're not allowed to, and I'm gonna make it extremely painful for you to exist for the next few hours. <laughs> Love is in the air? Wrong! Flaming skull! <laughs> is there a support group for people who wake up on time but lay in the bed until it makes them late? Yeah, literally everybody. Everyone has a ship that's just... 
They're perfect. They hate each other. They're married. They haven't spoken in 15 years. They have date nights three times a week. They're divorced. They're pining. It's unrequited. It's requited. They're star-crossed. They're meant to be. They're doomed by the narrative. They love each other. They never held hands. They won't stop making out of parties. They can't look each other in the eye. Man, I forgot ships have, like, multiple genres. My little brother came into my room and told me that there was water all over the bathroom floor, so I got up and grabbed a towel and ran into the bathroom to find all of my water energy Pokemon cards brawled on the floor. This kid is five fucking years old, and he got me. <laughs> That's really funny. Mm, some people on this site aren't even funny. They just have funny followers who make comedic additions to their otherwise bland text posts. Well, I'm glad you're self-aware. Sorry for sending my friends the Wikipedia page for the death penalty whenever they say something ungodly. Being the family's assigned it person is fun because everyone gets annoyed when you don't know what to do. Also, they don't try to do or teach themselves anything because they can just get you to do it for them. And it's such a chore to put on the Pennywise makeup every day too, like, ugh. Oh, you meant IT. Whoever has my voodoo doll, please take that bitch to the gym. Thank you. Child gates are the equivalent of blocked off areas in video games due to your character's level. What's it mean that my nephew just fucking bowls over them with his massive baby body? Speedrun strats. Oh god, oh god, I can hear it. Andy, watch out, it's the speedrun baby! I simply vibe until my brain just attacks me like, Hey, you see it, raw hot dog, trademark. And then I do. Because who am I to resist temptation? Two guys having a conversation about their friend who uses any pronouns, but they're clearly trying to outdo each other in obscurity with each pronoun used. I'm going to make my character suffer. Well, I'm gonna go make my character have a nice day. They're gonna go hang out with their friend. We'll never betray them nor dump them at the very first misunderstanding. Hmm? Baby, I've got half-finished whips you couldn't even imagine. I guess neither could you, OP. Damn. We should start doing ancient alien conspiracies, but for buildings that aren't even that old or impressive. No human could make an apartment this complex. I think it would be very funny for like characters in a fantasy setting to walk into a pub and try to order and the bartender just sighs and goes, Ugh, species and age. While pulling out a massive book holding the drinking age for every type of species capable of purchasing alcohol. That's brilliant. Dear lesbian at the pride night at the emo club. Thank you for the kiss. Sorry, I'm a boy. OP might want to bookmark this post in case they come back in three years to tell us all they're transgender. Funniest reply ever, I am transgender. If anyone gets into my computer and starts looking at what I named my drawings and the folders in them, they're either going to think I'm a comedy genius or in desperate need of therapy. Both. Behold, flat bin. Love them. Trying to clean, but he wants to come with me all the time, so I put him in the basket so I carry him more easily, and he's very happy about it. Oh my god, look at this baby. Unlikes and relikes a post, so it's further up in my likes, so I can find it again. Still never goes back to my likes to look at these posts ever again. Unlikes and relikes a post, so the person I saw it from still gets the sense of knowing I liked it. Wow. Brain. Hey, you know how you hate your artwork? Yeah. What if I told you that's interfering with your capacity to improve? Oh no. In case this wasn't clear enough, what I'm saying is, is that hating your artwork will get in the way of your improvement. You will get in your own way if you hate your work. You don't even have to like your work. You just have to find one thing in it that you sort of tolerate and can see hope in. Hating your entire work will not motivate you to spite improve in the long run. It'll just discourage you. Trust me. I ship male-female ships, but in an incredibly bisexual way. I've been trying to not call people mean names when I get into arguments, so now my default when I get a little frustrated is to say babe, which, as you might understand, is not particularly conducive to customer service. Had a guy piss me off so badly yesterday I called him baby girl. For reference, I am a scrawny 19-year-old girl wearing too much eyeliner, and he was a 40-year-old man in American flag Carhartt jacket. We were both so surprised the disagreement just ended right there. I think love is when I put myself to bed even when I'm tired, and I carry myself up the stairs even though my knees ache. I think love is when I buy myself a coffee when I'm broke, and I know that I'll get myself back later. And I think love is letting myself love someone even though I am so scared. 
Love is a heavy thing that carries you as much as you carry it. Nothing to add to this, you said it all. Can't explain why toe walking is so compelling to me. But it has something to do with the sensory input and the sheer delight of inertia and weight and bounce, 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 I think. Believe me, I should not be trusted with the ability to make tasty sweet food. If I wasn't physically restrained from doing so, I would make several liters of milkshakes and chug it in one sitting. Luckily for everyone around me, my household is poor. I will not explode for milkshake yet. Yet. To be fair, their username is, once again, Massive Milkpicks. D&D be like, the characters, under no circumstances do I want to discuss my past, my trauma, my mental state, or any other personal issues. The players, somebody please interrogate my child. Oh, you're sex positive? Well, I'm sex negative. We try to hold hands and we both vanish from existence. An earth shattering explosion rending the ground where we stood seconds before. Me when I see a hilariously bad video that I want to send to my friend instantly, knowing that it's bad enough to make them want to hire a deep web hitman to hit me. <laughs> when my son turned 10, he started talking about wanting to learn to code. I hope Tumblr also decides this now that it has turned 10. 911, I'd like to report a murder. My guy was literally on his way to my house with my food. Then, five minutes away, he took another order and is now on the other side of the city. What the hell? Ah, uh, ADHD delivery driver. I'm going to defeat you with the power of friendship and this gun I found. Maybe the real treasure was this gun I found along the way. Maybe. You know, there are some people out there that don't need to touch grass, but instead need to touch an entire fucking forest! Hey, uh, uh, no, m m McDouble, McDouble. What's up with the little plur ketchup there? Who, who thought that was cute? It's bothering me. Get rid of it. Andy, please get rid of it. You have mental Illinois. I diagnose you with Chicago. And I'm about to make all the citizens of Chicago so angry. <sighs> Illinois. Why is it thinking thoughts that upset it? I don't know, little weird cat. I just don't know. If I wanted to reach my new low point, I could make Tumblr posts and read them for a video. But who would be so silly as to take a post someone else made and read them for content? Could be worse. Could it be the person intentionally writing things to bait said post reading? You know, just say. I don't need new shoes. I need new feet. Because the ones I currently have start hurting after two minutes of walking. I hate it. One time I dreamt there was an official crossover between Ultra Kill and the Mandela Catalog. It was a dating simulator. My god. Shout out to anthropomorphic snakes in animated movies doing poses that would normally require arms or creatively using their coils as arms instead. Gotta be one of my fave agendas. This is what it's all about. Hey, emojis can't do this. Behold, March Simpson. <clears throat> Shout out to the time my mom was hammered and I heard her trying to tell my dad that she murdered her first husband years ago and my dad very patiently said, I saw Glenn in an elevator last week. Good job, dad. I want so badly to become someone's blobo. Imagine being the little guy in someone's head that they spin at terrifying speeds. Why not me? You want my advice? Log off Tumblr and make yourself a nice grilled cheese. Using good crusty bread with half cheddar and half parmesan cheese. The best possible soup for dipping it into is Campbell's tomato soup. The kind that comes in a little can that you mix with water. Only instead use milk. God, tag your not family friendly content. You know your anxiety is a problem when you get very stressed about asking someone to clarify the first answer because you didn't understand it the first time. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the glue trap. I won't be. If anyone needs cough loop, just cover the earth in glue traps except for one spot. Terrible Pokemon evolution method ideas. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on the status condition it has when it levels up. A Pokemon that only evolve if you have more than one million Poke Dollars. A Pokemon that evolves after getting frustrated that you keep faking playing catch with it in Pokemon Camp. A Pokemon that only evolve if it hates every Pokemon in your party. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on the clothes your character is wearing at that moment. A Pokemon that only evolve if there's a Pokemon who has a type advantage to it in your party. A Pokemon that evolves if you catch it in a Premier Ball. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on the number of badges you have. Ooh. 
A Pokemon that only evolve if one of your other Pokemon has the same nature plus a move as it has. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on if you gave it a cute nickname or a scary nickname. A Pokemon that only evolve if you keep it in your box long enough, then put it in your party at least one week. A Pokemon that only evolve when there's at least two fainted Pokemon in your party. And finally, a Pokemon whose evolution depends on where you caught it and where you were when you hatched its egg. Are you just trying to, like, destroy Game Freak's code here? It's already a giant pile of spaghetti. What are you trying to do? Add some more meatballs into it? Do you think Icarus would be into wax play or would that be a safe word zone because of trauma? You don't get quality content like this on other sites. Everybody likes going down. Stop! You know a character has really hit their gender out of the park when they're popularly headcanoned as trans mask and trans femme. I know I'm about to target a very specific audience here, but I have seen it. I am looking directly at you, Genshin Impact Twitter, and your Al Haytham content. Good job. Every time my boyfriend says, for the time being, I respond with, for the time being. And then we say, all hail the time being. And carry on the conversation like nothing happened. Ah, nature's healing. I say, donning my hazardous suit to roam the bomb-torn wastelands as I see a 12-inch cockroach skitter across the camera. Every day my soul is crushed by emails and every time I kiss, I swear I can fly. Can't you hear my heart beat fast as per my email from the past? Need you by my side. One time I dreamt the Muppets were doing an adaptation of The Legend of Zelda and Miss Piggy was mad she had to play Ganon. But it works so well. Plus on top of that, you get memes of Ganon going, Didn't I do it for you? You ever get no sleep and the next day your body functions like the Tumblr app? Me, we need to study. Brain. <laughs> I'm sorry, whoops, doozy, we made a big old... <laughs> Is everyone reblogging this okay? God put me on this world and said, let this dumbass roam. We are all God's Roombas that he let loose. Some of us he gave knives. I haven't used my iPod in several years, but since my phone broke, I'm using it for music. Got it hooked up to my Bluetooth speaker, which politely says, battery high. Connected to Lars' iPhone, generally. So I really wasn't thinking about it and absolutely wasn't expecting it to say, Battery high, connected to a disgusting little man. Because I had forgotten what I named my iPod and it quite literally bowled me completely over. I hate Shark Slander. They're literally just sitting there in their own living room. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on, just leave him be. Big shout out to Baked Potatoes. Well, thank you. I got high and thought this was directed at me and that Baked Potatoes was my new nickname. I'm, I'm sorry. Writing prompt. A medical robot in a long space flight has tried everything. Makeshift defibrillators, CPR, injecting adrenaline, but it's no use. The crew have died. As a last ditch effort, the robot downloads all information on necromancy. Aw, oh, that's a sheep, baby. <laughs> a motherfucking sheep! In my humble opinion. Minecraft should have added the deep dark without telling anyone. <laughs> yeah, here's your silly little cave update. But dig too far down, there are the horrors. All of them. What's that one video game with the lesbians and what I blue hair? Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, thanks. Do you ever think there are people who go to Disneyland or World to cosplay as Kingdom Hearts characters? Well, now I do. Your 30s are for unlearning all the conformity you've picked up in your teens and 20s and getting back to the weirdo you were as a kid. You will complete the stage at 40 when you turn into a feral version of the weirdo you were as a child, except now you have money and can drive. Probably bad RPG ideas. So much superhero media suggests superheroes started this generation. Consider Neanderthal superhero. I'm sorry, uh, but did you mean Captain Caveman? If you don't know who that is, and he put up the picture. That's him. That's the guy. Your old pal Pukacho is not in the best spirits today. Your old pal Pukacho needs some cheering up. I don't think you deserve it. I'm no longer sad now. I just want to get you! Whoa, bro, did you just summon for fumbling as they learn and try something new? Not cool, man. That was pretty bad of you. I'm sorry. Really imagine being Chris and you discover the Undertale universe. Parallel copies of most everyone you know, post-return to the surface, living these enriched, happier lives, following relationships that didn't pursue in your world, no longer dealing with the strains of weird small-town problems. Everything seems great. You go and find your parents, and they're still divorced. Damn. Much like the Minotaur, I am a creature in some sort of situation. Yeah. 
femmes who love pink are amazing and all, but have you considered emo femmes who love black? Okay, but hear me out. Both. Wish Pokemon did more with Unknown. We've never even seen a character who has one as their main little buddy or anything. I want to know someone who goes through life in that world with a pet letter G. It has to be somebody. And I bet they taught it sing. And that is a very complex joke if you don't understand it. But I'll help you. Andy, play the G note. At some point, and don't ask me when, I don't know either. You gain or unlock the ability to look someone in the eye and understand what kind of person they are. And there are two kinds. No thoughts, blank stare. And war flashbacks. I mean, you could have just said retail worker for both, Salavon. It's fine. My brother's toothbrush is over the past month. Why is he so angry? Does this dude even still have teeth? Writing prompt. Instead of the monkey's paw, you find the clown's nose, which instead of granting your wish in the worst way possible, will grant it in the funniest way. Item. The cursed clown nose. Obviously, to use it, you have to put it on and give it a honk. Wow, this really works. I want a million dollars. I pull one dollar bill out of my pocket. I pull another dollar bill out of my pocket. This proceeds for the next three hours. Oh, <laughs> bold of you to assume it's going to take three hours. Yeah, we put your boyfriend in a PMC more video. Yeah, they're using the voice and everything. Oh, sorry. God damn it. Hey, PM, if there was ever a live action movie about Undertale, who do you think would be the best celebrity actor for Papyrus? John Mulaney. And I'll give you an example. Andy, this might be some complex editing, but here we go. Put up a picture of Papyrus and get your favorite John Mulaney voice clip and play it under it. You got a problem with cartoon? Thank you. Lo-fi girl? She, she can leave? <laughs> She's cosplaying my dad. Somewhere in the world, there is a tree that has sprouted the same day you were born and has been growing along with you. Why am I feeling things? It's not supposed to be hot girl summer yet. Why is it 85 degrees? I'm evaporating. Whoa, dude. Have you seriously not realized that all things are delicately interconnected yet? At your age? <laughs> dude, cringe. People born in 2000 should be like 12 to 14 now, but they're not. That's how fucked up our world is now. The older this post gets, the funnier it becomes. I was going to scream for that last one, but it's a she season and a uh, hard scream right now. But uh, I'll end it with a, with a funny noise. You guys want that? Cool. I love staring out the window when it's raining. Especially if I'm on the third floor of a building, it makes me feel really cool and kind of divorced. Didn't mean to type divorced. Where, where, where did divorce come from? I was not meant to be a person. I was meant to listen to music on the bus. Ugh. Fireball whiskey can be put in milk to make fire milk. Eat some protein if you're feeling fatigued. Visit garage sales if you want to find deals on belt senders. What we'll learn next week is still shrouded in darkness. Why is this phrase like people who are giving really crappy advice to people with depression? Hey, you know how you go out in the middle of the woods, your phone loses in that service? That's because the trees naturally protect you from the evil dark energy rays generated by influences and Twitter opinions. Follow for more information about the beauty of nature. I have the phrase, as far as I'm concerned, all work is homework stuck in my head, and it's hell. Spoilers for Super Mario movie. Jump about 15 seconds ahead if you don't want to hear. Okay, okay. I came to the realization that, despite how famous and well-known it was, dating back to the original Super Mario Brothers, Fire Mario did not appear at all in the movie, with the Fire Flower only being used by Peach and DK. Even more surprising is that besides the Mushroom and the Star, the only power-ups Mario used during the entire movie were the fursuits. Hmm. I think it's unjust to deny a child their right to dig a hole motivously. I mean, it's free exercise. They're doing something, and they're not on their phone. God. The moral of Deltarune is that there are weird guys in the basement. Have fun. Long, wet hair is heavy. Item 28X, the immortal pupper. Probably really bad item idea. The immortal pupper. A legendary wondrous item. A small wooden figure in the shape of a dog. When the activation word is said, it transforms into a living puppy that lives for up to a regular dog of the same kind's lifespan. 
The breed of dog is dependent on the type of wood. The bigger the bark, the tougher the dog. When the dog eventually passes, it reverts into a wooden figure again and becomes non-magical for one year. When that one year is up, the figure is magical again, and turning it into a real dog again will keep the memories of its last form. <laughs> this is a really, really good item, actually. I'm going to gift this to one of my players as a legendary item, no joke, this will make us here. Now, if you excuse me, I have to pause recording to go cry. Okay, I'm back. Aw, oh, he's literally sleeping on the barbecue sauce. Goals, man. Goals. Five night at boobies. Come on, man. Five boobs at Presties. Mm hmm. Free range, grass fed, certified organic gnome meat. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Apparently, this is how zoologists weigh tiny birds. This really needed to be on this blog. This is horribly undignified. I demand a lawyer. Shout out to boring queer people who don't do shit. Just go to work or school and then come home to watch shows. While gay. Love ya. Writing prompt. You open your door to find some religious looking people standing there. Have you found our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? You glance behind your door where Jesus is shushing you. This should be more on bad jokes by Jeff. Sometimes when I'm bored, I go through the list of recent bad faith at Wikipedia edits that have been reverted. A lot of them are politically contentious, offensive topics that attract crazies and trolls in general, but sometimes there are completely innocent, inoffensive articles that people attack for no reason. Some guy yesterday vandalized the article of the chemical element francium. Francium is a stupid element. Hm. Take that, francium. They should invent a girl with no headaches. Oh, if only. A train could easily kill me if it became sentient. I'm not implying that any inanimate object which becomes sentient will immediately be homicidally angry. I'm simply stating a fact. You know, a train could easily kill you sentient or not. Just, just, just saying. I forgot how much of a dagger to the heart it is to post something you're super proud of and get, like, no reaction. The worst. The idea of Tumblr as a company is unfathomable to me. You mean there's some building out there labeled Tumblr HQ, where the staff sits and works on code or something? Ridiculous. You mean this beast I have on my phone didn't just manifest out of thin air? Impossible. Totally fake news. Butch fatal. She walked into my office with the swagger of a race car pit crew boss. From her steel-toed boots to her safety glasses, this dame was giving me forklift certified vibes, strong enough to shake me loose from my classic depressed laced with alcoholism. Her car binder jingled with keys to four speakeasies, two U-Hauls, and a thousand broken hearts. I want this book now. Twilight, but instead of a dramatic reveal about how Edward's a vampire, Bella just shows up to class one day and slides a copy of Dracula across the table to see what happens. He autographs it and slides it back. How dare you hide this comedy gold in the tags? Writing prompt. Prophets and seers don't have to give musings and warnings of the future in vague, riddling, or purposely misleading ways. They mostly only do it when the people who come to them are being arrogant jerks, and when someone knowing their actual happy end will cause that end to not happen. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you're not gonna have the context for him immediately. You might have to scroll a bit first. Yeah, sorry. I love and be arrow aces. Y'all really said, I don't want to have to do with any of that, actually. I found the perfect display from my 100,000-year-old shrimp fossil. Behold. I believe P.M. Seymour secretly owns a child because no man can make so many dad jokes without being a natural. Listen, if I had a child, I'd be doing double the videos to afford for their care. But, Snom, every Pokemon Tumblr user? They meant like an actual human baby. Well, you're telling me they assume that a grown man who's active on Tumblr could have a real biodegradable human baby? Crazy, right? Also, I found it weird that they phrased it as owns a child. Um, remember to regularly change your pronouns for security reasons. Sometimes tax benefits. Body horror? Not to me. Not if it's you. Thanks? The worst they could say is no. True, but while they are saying it, they very well could hit me with force lightning like Palpatine from Star Wars. Andy, put out that guy. It could be any guy, as long as it's lightning. Yeah, that's the guy. 
I think I've been playing too much Hi-Fi Rush. I was making bread while listening to music, and I noticed I was subconsciously needing to the beat. I, well, fuck, did I just get more bonus bread damage or some shit? Bonus bread damage is my favorite out-of-context Tumblr quote. Using it. Why is the human body so utterly flawed? I have horrible back pain right now, all because I made a wrong move and threw out my back completely. I'm 16. I shouldn't be experiencing this kind of torment at this age. I can't even move without being in excruciating pain. Why does the universe hate me? Oh, if you're feeling this now at 16, 33 is gonna suck. I think there should be levels to the death penalty. Like, if you kill one guy, then you just get, like, lethal injection or whatever. But if you kill 30 guys, which is pretty bad, you get shot out of a cannon while silly circus music plays in the background. Or we could just nigh kill people. I, I mean, Supermax prisons exist for a reason. Funny big clown cannons exist for a reason, too. My boyfriend picked up a habit of shouting, Get scared! From another friend of ours as either a punchline or interjection. It's really funny most of the time, until that time I was so baked I couldn't speak and he just told me to, Get scared! And I started screaming. It's called super because the S is uber. Wow. Would you download a frog? Depends, is it a really cool frog? <laughs> I'm downloading that frog. Andy, download that frog. Trees are pretty cool, right? You'd say they've been on the planet since forever, right? Like 360 million years. Pretty long, right? Wrong. Sharks existed for 450 million years. Sharks won, tree zero. Take that, trees. For the record, I don't post cringe to keep the Twitter users at bay. I do not post cringe at all. If you cringe at my posts, that's on you, not me. I'm simply having a good time on this website, and if that makes you cringe, I'm sorry for whatever you see in me that shames you so. Alright, Joker, calm the hell down. Gentlemen, show them no shrimpathy. Krill them without hesitation. Octopus! Very good, girl balls. Why do you work out? Asked a friend of mine. For self-improvement? Kinda. For health reasons? No. I work out to look more like Ganondorf! Look at this man! Yeah, sorry. We reblogged your boyfriend in the wrong order. <sighs> sorry. God damn it, Kimberly, you had one job! What do you call a spheres full of idiots? Earth. <laughs> I got them all. Feeling gothic today. I became so goth my internet crashed. Oopsies. I just woke up from a dream in which there was an app that notified you when nearby LARPs needed an NPC, and you could, like... Go pretend to be a surly shopkeeper or whatever and get paid like 10 bucks for it. Damn, I want this to be an actual thing. Baby girl, I'm obsessed in ways that I can't even animate. It sucks. All my coworkers are joining Tumblr. Does that mean I have to stop being a horrible little creature here? Oh, no, 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 no. You got it reversed. You should have been a horrible little creature over at Twitter first. Now get to be one here with everyone else. You are so right. All of my college projects are done. Finally, I can return to being cringe. Spoiler alert, adulthood is 96% of you going, Well, I hope this is how it works, and I'll keep doing it until someone yells at me. I like these posts because you read them as a teenager and you think, Surely these people are blowing it out of proportion. And then you reach adulthood. I have a bookstore employee secret to share, and it's that when you buy milk and honey, we all make fun of you. If you pick up anything categorized as online poetry, all the gay booksellers are already pointing and laughing at you from the other side of the store. I thought you were making a grocery store post, and I was like, no, these are good fluids. When you buy milk and honey, we all panic because we thought we got rid of the guy selling unpasteurized animal products in the biography section. You'll never take me down! I have come to the discovery that I own three cats and a mimic. Oh no. I invite you over to my house, and while we're greeting each other at the door, I turn around and say, down boy, down, no! And you just see a caterpillar moving very slowly across the floor toward you. Writing prompt. Unbeknown to most, the Norse gods are still among us. Thor is a grumpy personal trainer. Freya is a successful influencer. Quite a few of the dwarves are top-level sysadmins. But what about Loki? YouTube prank channel. I thought the shopping bags were a bit heavy. <sighs> Take them with you. Earlier, my friend said to me, somewhere out there, in an alternative universe... There's an all-female rock band called King. And I'm still recovering from the mental image and how gay it made me feel. They still have a hit titled Fat Bottom Girls. Okay, this reply really got to me feeling gay again. You know what my favorite thing about the Pokemon trading card game is? The attack names. 
Punch and run. Offensive needle. Extreme attack. Serve together. Iron fist of justice. Hulk is pinkus. And my all-time favorite. Everyone explode. Now. I wish all trans girls are very kissed on the face by someone they love. I wish all trans boys they kissed on the face by someone they love. I wish all non-binary people are very kissed on the face by someone they love. Doesn't this just mean everyone now? Oh, wait. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot cis people exist again. Children outside screaming. Annoying, but ultimately for the greater good. Children need going outside and screaming time for proper emotional development. An auditory burden I am willing to bear. Neighbor with his car he made louder on purpose. Jail for neighbor! Jail for 10,000 years! Oh, you wanted chocolate atop your Boston cream donut. Mmm, too bad. That chocolate is for the paper bag, you stupid bitch. I'm just living for the fact that some of y'all haven't even bothered to contact support to get your blogs unflagged because aside from having a blurred avatar, you can just continue to blog like normal. This site's something else. I'll remember is the ADHD demon talking. You won't remember. Write it down. Both of you to assume I'll remember where I wrote it or even that I wrote it. You know, visual exhaustion is another symptom of ADHD, which means that if we see something enough times, or we see enough instances of something, it fades into the background noise and we fail to notice it. This is why a lot of ADHD people can stand living surrounded by mess or clutter, because it's just visual background noise to us. We don't even notice it anymore. So if we write something down and see the notes stuck up somewhere a lot, or if we write it a lot, or if we write a lot of some things down and have a lot of notes hanging around, we're even less likely to think of or remember the thing because it's just part of the scenery now. ADHD is the catch-22 of brains. Hate it. Honeybun thinks that this is his chair. It is his chair now. You have no choice. How do you guys feel about the fact that these two characters exist in the same universe? I don't know. Horny? Wrong answer. I got a tiny rubber baby for 95 cents. My son. This little plastic lefon by the computer vexes and haunts me. Is your dad a tragic 19th century French author? Yeah, sorry about your boyfriend. Yeah, I trapped him in the Traptanium Crystal. He lives in there now. Yeah, no, I do let him out, but just so I can make him fight creatures. <sighs> sorry. Why do you guys keep doing this to my boyfriend? Writing prompt. Dragons have treasure hordes for adventurers to target. Those are usually cover-ups to hide what the dragons actually care for. Some run orphanages, others have meticulously tended gardens, and some have the most well-stocked libraries in the world. Oh my god, I need this. Take me to Snarch, Snad! Only if you promise a sacrifice. <sighs> sacrifice was right there, and you missed it, bestie. Snad, I snap believe you forgot to say sacrifice. I'm leaving the Snarch in this whole snail legion. My whole career is in snapples. As we all know, red dragons breathe right channel audio, white dragons breathe left channel audio, and yellow dragons breathe video. Oh my god. This joke is living on limited time. Okay, no more questions. It's sleepy time. Me sees my stuffed animal on the floor next to my bed. <laughs> Why? Why wasn't I a better parent? Devil may happy. Wouldn't it make more sense to say devil may smile? Critique my post ever again, and devil may angry. You want to have to research to write fiction instead of just magically injecting knowledge into my brain to... Oh my god! Probably rad RPG idea. Magical shield enchanted to feel... pain. <laughs> I'm both dumber and smarter than you think, so don't underestimate me because I'm actually smart about a lot of stuff. But also, don't be surprised if I'm dumb about some other stuff. Hope that helps. Where am I? One time I dreamt college only cost $45 for a class. One of the few times I want Apollo to throw that dodgeball. Throw that dodgeball, Apollo! Hey, uh, evil snob, boys. For some reason, a heated blanket arrived in the mail. What a failed assassination attempt. Lol. Pokemon's best three characters all have parental issues. What did, what did Game Freak mean by this? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I think you mean four of the best characters. And he slides Silver up very slowly. Thank you. The moral of Matilda is that if you're autistic enough, you can destroy your enemies with your mind. Anyway, I think if instead of having internet phantoms or whatever, we should consider them internet neighborhoods. My mutuals mutual post about things in interest I could not possibly understand, but I will smile and wave while watering my flowers when they pass by. 
except for that block over there. Dinkelberg. I can say and do anything with consequences. Someone has to freaking blaze his posts. I mean, I can't because I'm broke, but let's show Pucky some consequences. Do it. How boring do you have to be to hate fantasy at use? Ugh, cringe. I will not be needlessly cynical. I will enjoy things without shame. Always. Yeah, we always make you hear the same voice for this meme format. Yeah, it's an office space reference. Yeah, sorry. Oh my god, they know. When you mentally pss, 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 your mutuals and they don't come. Why? Audio processing disorder is like, you are going to be able to differentiate 27 distinct sounds happening simultaneously, except for when someone's talking to you. Good luck! People think because my ears are so unreasonably sensitive, I must also be able to hear them. This is false. I can hear the clock ticking, though. One time I was watching Avatar with my friends with headphones, and I heard my dad open a can downstairs. I still can't tell what people say to me if more than one person is talking. Don't lie to people. It's all very good until you remember how funny it is to give the wrong birthday to an astrology person and have them go, that explains so much about you. I had to mentally send myself a reaction image the other day. I ran up the stairs on all fours and said to myself, I am such a location pill scamperl. And then perfectly envisioned this image. Yeah, no one thinks like this. You're a broken person. Girls will say, I just need to lie down for a little while. And then sink into a muddy river and get all their heart tissues replaced with mineral deposits. I mean, it's called self-care, Sharon. Two genres of fan fictions. Put that guy into situations. And take that guy out of situations for the love of God. Let him rest. Baby girl, your enormous eye bags and just barely noticeable tremor have captivated me. Thank you, user eyes, 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 eyes. Um, I thought you were 22. It says 23 in your bio. You're never gonna believe what happened to me. The world is so beautiful. We can eat rice here. <laughs> it's perfect. My favorite thing on Tumblr is reblogging a post like, oh, that mutual's gonna love this, and then seeing them reblog it from you. I see they were able to achieve the mental pss, 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 pss. We need swimmable cities. Give us a few years. Quivering is my least favorite word in the English language. Nothing and nobody should be quivering. If you're quivering right now, stop that shit immediately. Tremble or shake if you must, but the quivering has to stop. I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. Oh. Oh, how dare you, you sick individual. And you blow up this video with your mind. I looked the devil in the eyes, and his name is Miami International Airport. Taken at 1.30 p.m. at Seymour. All aboard the Seymour Mobile. Wait, why is it Mario took the picture? It's a me, a Mario. I asked my husband to go to the store for some chocolate chips. Meet chocolate chip. This implies they own multiple cats named chocolate chip. The ADHD urge to not, to just not. I have several overdue assignments. I think the next completely unfaithable reimagining of the Persephone myth should be a Taken-style action adventure where Demeter viciously fights her way through the underworld to rescue her daughter. We've made it sexy. We've made it romantic. Now it's time to give Demeter a shotgun. <laughs> Change of several core aspects of your personality when you're not looking. Normally this would infuriate me, but I feel uncharacteristically calm and forgiving. Hmm. You may notice I use the phrase, my beloved, frequently. This is because I am in love with the world and everything in it. Hope this clears things up. Girl, help, the pessimist found me. Girl, help, I am staunchly refusing to realize my own naivete in the world almost completely made up of things that couldn't care less about me or are actively exploiting me. Why are you projecting onto me? Please just go to a therapist. Debit or credit? You can insert your card now. D -d 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 Damn, he just went all the way in. That, that man just inserted his whole card and kept going until his whole body disappeared into the reader. Manager, I feel really sick. Can I go home? No. How is your digestion? What is this question? I love this website. How are your bones? Get me out of here. Just saw a chart with the gender options male, female, and part-time slash other. And I 
think I get they were going for, but I'm obsessed with the concept of part-time gender clocking into my shift at the gender factory and brother, I am not getting paid a living wage. We should do a second dash con. We could do it right this time. <gasps> we would have two ball pits. You are braver than you think. You are smarter than you think. You are stronger than you think. You are cuter than you think. You are more resilient than you think. You are better than you think. Don't forget it. You are strong. Keep pushing and fighting for things worth fighting for. Thank you. Girl, help. I've fallen victim to one of the classic blunders. <gasps> you started a land war in Asia? You went up against the Sicilian when death was on the line? You tried to invade Russia in the winter? You consumed your entire platoon supply of pervetin? You believed it was butter? I just saw someone say the words jokingly gaslight. And this might be a good time to reintroduce the internet to the terms lying or perhaps pranking. Or even just joking on its own. I own a grapefruit spoon. What is up with him? Owl City girl blocking time. Like him or hate him, he owns a grapefruit spoon. That's probably fine, is my favorite thing to say after seeing something that is incredibly obviously not fine. It is very played out and I will never ever stop doing it. I am like 89% sure there is no time traveling goatfish. Hmm, that's what the time traveling goatfish wants you to think. And he put up the time-traveling goatfish. Oh no, there isn't one, is there? I'm the only thing preventing the mailman and the vacuum from killing my entire family! This was such a confusing and frightening post before I read the name of the vlog that posted it. <gasps> oh my god, it makes sense now. Oh, Shnom, how many OSHA violations have you had to give out to the other Snoms? And have any had their licenses revoked? I'm in constant communication with Engineer Snom, and I pop in frequently on Evil Snom. My existence is an OSHA violation. Cars can have windows and can move. Houses have windows and can't move. So it's not the windows that make the car go. It's something else entirely. This is what ancient Greek philosophy is like. Diogenes driving a mobile home into a symposium to ruin Plato's day. Behold a fan! You will never understand how smart an animal is until you need to trick them into taking medicine. Yeah, there's not enough cheese in the world to convince my dog to take their medicine. Ace Attorney is as exciting as it is because it fulfills everyone's fantasy out of not just proving someone wrong, but doing so in a heroically aggressive manner. Ace Attorney is about calling someone out with receipts so hard that they throw wild anime faces, scream, and tear their hair out, and then get sent to an actual jail. Beautiful. Do you ever see something and think, wow, that is violently American? I'm sorry, did you mean the glazed donut bacon cheeseburgers? <clears throat> Excuse me, they're called the Luther? Probably bad RPG idea. Deal with gaming conflicts by deboning problem players. <laughs> Deal with gaming conflicts by boning problem players. No, 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 no. Andy, slap him for me too. I'm out of slaps. You who Tumblr staff, a proposal. Make Tumblr more glitchy. Already in the works. Trust me, you won't even be able to open it. These two have the same voice actor. Dude, me boy, you've been invited by the king of Barsing Seder for the leg glaukai. There's truly no greater love than taking your most adored fictional character and throwing them into the emotionally devastating angst fuel trash compactor and pressing every single button on the machine just to see what will happen. I'm gonna go shower and become wet like a crocodile, my favorite beast. Please, for the love of God, stay safe. Did you just tell yourself to stay safe? Um, self-care? Man, being a people is such a weird concept. You're telling me that somehow electric signals emitting at irregular intervals through a blob of elements started to catch feelings? What's next? That two blobs can make more blobs with the exact same functions but slightly different? Sounds fake. Man caves are out. Autism caves are in. Just give me a whole room dedicated to my special interest where I can go and just vibrate with excitement. That sounds awesome, actually. Me to myself. Relax. Also me to myself. I cannot. If I blocked you, sorry. 
I saw a real person icon and automatically assumed you were a bot and panicked. So make sure you have an anime icon so I know you're real. I love short people. <laughs> you are one Diet Coke can tall. My online child describing amphibians. No, no, no. I meant the animals, water and land, like like bisexual, but for places. No, no, no. They've got a point. I am so, so sorry I got nervous and tore you limb from bloody limb with my teeth. Can we still be friends, please? Magic mushrooms. Um, actually, all mushrooms are magic, so drop that down. Magic isn't always fine connections with all things in the universe. Sometimes it's just make tasty soupies or shrivel your kidneys. You know how it is. The urge to disappear into the forest and become local folklore. Oh, you're insufferable. <laughs> Suffers you easily and gladly. Using telekinesis to ask you to bring me home a treat from the grocery store. I honestly think this is the funniest way you could have mixed up telepathy and telekinesis. No, 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 no. They're using a pen to furiously scribble it on the nearest surface to you. Using my telepathy to tell you you spelled treat wrong. Writing prompt. You're an ancient and powerful dragon, master of all arcane arts, and your hobby is to scry on random humans to watch the unfolding drama of their lives, like soap operas. Sometimes you make subtle interventions to nudge your favorite shows along in interesting directions. <laughs> make them kiss. Just had maybe my most autistic thought of all time, lads. Oh boy, if I count how many times the popcorn pops in the microwave, I'll know exactly how many popcorns I get to eat. Sounds fun! You know what? That does sound fun. Do it. We make eye contact, and I connect to the Wi-Fi in your brain, and I delete half of your memories and make you left-handed. But I am left-handed, and I already have poor memories, so good luck finding anything worth deleting. <gasps> Wait a minute. Thinking about the fact that Shell, who has been kept in a cage for like a decade, is classified in Aperture Science Records as a part-time employee. Like, Doug didn't do that. So Gladys must have. Humpback whales breaching. Gorgeous, majestic, graceful, embodies all the strength and beauty of the ocean. Mink whales breaching. I will launch myself out of this ocean like a fucking surface-to-air missile and seek and destroy my enemies. Noom! Hey, you guys would tell me if I was in a PM Seymour video, right? Surely you wouldn't just let me go on living my life normally, not knowing if they use the silly voice or the normal voice for me, would you? I mean, yeah, probably. It's okay, Skatari. I'll tell you. Hey, don't forget to lose faith in everything this morning. Instructions unclear. Embrace the world with childlike wonder and joy. Hey, is, is, is this real? Yes. Spiritual successor to Horse Plinko. My sibling in Christ. This post was from 2012. This is Horse Plinko's grandfather. Since the gun emoji was taken from us, I've just been building my own contraptions. It may not look like it, but I got your ass with that thingamajig. All right, guys, I offer you this challenge in the comments. Make your own Ruth Goldberg machine out of emojis. Go. Y'all remember before ebooks were big and Samo releases were a thing when a new manga chapter would come out and you'd have to wait for some dedicated soul to scan all the pages in, clean them up, and translate them? No, I'm not old. I'm only 23. You'd be dead in dog years. Hey, she took, she took the ladders and the divorce. Can someone help me get down? Good morning, y'all. There's weather outside. Preposterous. I refuse to believe it. Do you believe me now? I do not see it, no. Open your eyes. There's a world out there if you seek it. Um, Medusa and her autistic girlfriend who can't make eye contact. I I is that anything? Yes, that is something very good. Please continue. So I was on eBay looking for cells, and I found this one of Miss Bellum and just... Neck! Hey, yo, that neck game is strong. Shout out to the delivery guy who really liked our doorbell. This is a quality bell. Probably from the 80s. Great stuff. And he rang it like four times while I was standing there. King. Eh? It's the little things. Hmm, two schmeckles for your crimes, bitch boy. Never! They're my schmeckles. Hello, Pucky Joe. I believe I met you yesterday. You hit me with your car seven times and threw me in a river. It was a pleasure meeting you. I will do it again.
I believe we as a society deserve more cartoons with female leads that are utter goobers. Wait, Andy, this is your jam. Put up your favorite goober. That's a good one. They don't seem to sell dinosaur chicken nuggets anymore. I've been keeping an eye out for some months, but the only ones I've found are like the vegan fake meat nuggets, which are not what I'm looking for. Remember what they took from us. You know, Dog's got it right. I too want to run around on all fours at high speeds until I face plant into a wall. Watching a show isn't enough. I need to sit down and watch it with someone who's never seen it before. This is how my partner got me to watch JoJo. They should make it easier. Just it. I'm not even going to specify. Just make it easier. The need to cry is unable to be filled due to having company. It's just, it's just needless. Oh, nothing worse than when the premise of something captivates you, but then it sucks ass. Like, bro, you put this idea out into the world and you didn't even do it a shred of justice. I mean, yeah, but sometimes that's also like the best. When something has an incredibly captivating premise and then flatlines into inanities, nothing captures the imagination more than, what if it was better? How would I write it? Oh my god, they have a point. Your Pokemon seems surprised to touch ice. But, Regice, you're, you're, you're made of ice. Well, if you walked into a cave made of human flesh, you'd be surprised too. It would seem that succumbing to the raw hot dog temptation has banished me from appearing in more videos by the anomaly known as PM Seymour. I have tried and failed to reappear to spread the effect of my massive milk bags to no effect. However, if this is included, I have a request. To Andy, unlike the one person long ago, the one who misspelled PM's name, could you please launch the cheese missiles for me? Thanks. You know what? They spelled my last name right. They got a funny username. They made a callback to a previous video. Andy, give them the cheesiest missiles you've got. Two, one. Got out. Cheese. Missile in blue. While you were busy consuming media, I was consuming fungus off the forest floor. We are not the same. Mm -hmm. Why bother screaming when instead I can drop a potato? No one's ever left a potato before. It's very much appreciated. Thank you. Me and my totally not an alien boyfriend arriving at the function unannounced. Why does this look like a JoJo thing? Andy, quick. Two seconds of JoJo music. Go. I wish everything was edible. I want to crunch on some drywall right now. Yumbe. How? How could you take the cheese missiles from me? How could you? It's not stealing if you didn't get them in the first place. Oh! Why is everyone so pretty? I need to know. Because you're gay AF. Hope this helps. What if we just started digging a huge hole? And what if we just killed everyone who came near our hole? In Minecraft. <clears throat> Ants. One time I dreamt- Just kidding, not a dream. I was just recording a voice message to my friend and said, I'm gonna go out on a blimp instead of limb. The people onboarding the Hindenburg. No! <laughs> That's terrible! Stop it! You need help with the ladies? <laughs> You've come to the right place. I'm kind of a lady magnet. First, you gotta reel him in by reciting all the lyrics to Five Nights at Freddy's song by the Living Tombstone. So you see? Then you drop the big one. You didn't even know it was a game, and you just thought it was a really cool song. That was swoon in in no time, bub. I'm a girl, and I'm just showing up to your house to smoke weed and watch you go crazy on the beat. Break it down, you funky critter. Yeah, you see? Evidence. Now, if you just pay a moderate fee for my course, son. One of my favorite genres of voice actors is dude who does goofy stuff on the side, but is also a legitimate voice actor for hire. So it's like, oh wow, what a cool character, and then you spit out your tea when you see their name in the credit, it's like, That was AM Speakless? Yeah, it's kind of like watching Tuca and Birdie and being like, Oh my god, is that world famous YouTuber Amateur DZ? Creator of world hit character Lysanderoth? A crow tried to go in our classroom and he had a pen. Yes, hello, I am here to learn geometries. That crow is more prepared than some of my students. 
I'm literally such a love-pilled hope cell believing in the inherent goodness in humanity right now. Good. Keep it. My therapist asked me to explore my inner self. Alas, it is but bones. The flug is a parameter. Why do I need a hundred of a meter? Or is, it, or is it like the money? What the flug is a money meter? A line at a casino? Good night, strange homosexuals and my device. I'll see you all tomorrow if the fog doesn't get me. You know what? Fuck you. Unlegals, you're blind. Wait, why are people knocking at my door? Wait, shit, shit, shit. Relegal it. Relegal it. Reblock to give a lesbian an oat milk coffee. They deserve it. Excuse me. This cat owes me an explanation. A zebra. Beautiful cryptid who brings blessings. She's just being a skeleton for Halloween. She's doing her best. Perceive a snow leopard visiting a dentist in Finland. My dentist never gives me feety warmers. Yeah, you're probably not likely to claw the dentist's face off. You don't know that. What's a snow leopard doing in Finland? And if you're about to respond to my question uh, to see the dentist, you have to like, comment, and subscribe right now. Oh my god, he's so hot, I want to compress him into a sphere and then bite into it like an apple. I just want to tap him with a mallet until he's a uniform shiny tinfoil sphere and then put him on a little stand by my bed next to my salt lamp. Mm. Try new things. Consider inhaling spaghetti. Hmm. Spaghetti inhalation considered. But do you also exhale spaghetti? Spaghetti exhalation considered. What's the perfect safe word? Meatloaf. I'd do anything for love, but I won't do that. God damn it, Jeff. You know, this Detective Pikachu stuff just made me realize that the clock is ticking on a live-action Undertale movie, and it is absolutely going to look exactly like Detective Pikachu. All of the weirdly hairy CGI monsters, scary realistic goat Toriel, scary realistic skeleton papyrus and sands, metaton but with transformer movie levels of moving parts and details. It's going to happen. If you think I wouldn't pay to see a hyper-realistic daffodil with a creepy face fighting eight-year-old, you're wrong. When Photoshop Flowey appears, the movie stops and Toby Fox comes in and beats up everyone in the cinema. Jane Austen really said, I respect the I can fix a movement, but that's just not me. He'll fix himself if he knows what's good for him, and that's why her works are still calling the shots today. Meanwhile, Emily Bront just said, we can make each other worse. Mary Shelley said, I can make him. Yeah, that's not very mouse wearing a sweater holding a cup of tea behavior. Sorry. Shout out to elderly people? Yeah, but don't be too loud though. You know what, Rambo is right. I am now going to end this video with the softest yell I can muster. <sighs> uh... Ladies, gentlemen, non-binaries. Bionicle is the homestuck of action figures. And no, I will not elaborate. How the human brain works. Electricity tickles the meat so that different slimes come out. Sometimes the slime feels good, sometimes bad. Some people make more bad slime than good slime. That's called the clinical depression. My biology textbook said it was more like a sauce. Sometimes I forget that people on the internet are like actually real people. Like the guy scanning your bananas at Walmart could be the guy who sends you add on hate. <gasps> Damn you, banana man. Why do different people of Middle Earth fight each other instead of bonding over their one shared value? Building dangerous architecture without handrails. That's a good point. If you're in high school right now and you're thinking of going to college, let me just tell you that college will be hard, but literally everything is better than high school. 100 DVDs in your home. 99 DVDs now. Hey, don't eat that. The Dean of Students took the wheels from my Heelys. I feel like Lucifer stripped of his wings. I had to walk down the hallways like a common wench and I am livid. All fictional creatures' behavior should be modeled after cats. Dragons, scaly cat. Demons, infernal cat. Elves, talking cats. The elf party member knocks your water off the table and calls you a bitch when you don't feed him at three in the morning. I mean, to be fair, they don't sleep, so yeah. It's a cat. Why does Ray, the largest member of my chemical romance, not simply eat the other three? They're probably saving that for the final album. Do kids today even understand why podcasts are called podcasts? So what you see, kids, almost 20 years ago, Apple produced a portable audio player called... Wait, 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 I need to go back further. Okay, so in the 20th century, the new inventions of radio and television were known as broadcast media. No, wait, no, 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 that's not really the start either. 
Broadcasting originally refers to throwing or casting handfuls of seeds into prepared ground, typically used with grain crops, which... Uh, the agricultural revolution, which began circa 10,000 BC in the Levant, was when humans began preserving seeds for replanting. Sorry for the delay in responding to your message. I was walking around the house with unclear intentions. It will happen again. I like big butts, and yet I possess the capability to lie. One of the two gods. My other brother will deny. I'm not saying Tumblr doesn't appreciate me enough, but I am saying that Google Forms would never do me dirty like this. See, this never happens in Spider Solitaire for Windows. We have the technology. We can rebuild her. Goofier. Sillier. Hornier. The technology is HRT. Are you a girl? I am, but I, I thought that was obvious given I have a picture of me and my icon. I'm reblogging this to point out your icon is a green horse. The horse is also a girl. Ever thought about that? Hey guys, did I mention I live on a fucking weird island and sometimes land crabs with eight inch claws try to get into my house? Ah, uh, cute puppy, what breed is he? Sideways. I went camping and forgot to bring a shot glass. That's the second worst reason anyone would carve a hole in a block of spam. Wait. Wait, what's the first one? What's the first one? She be... <laughs> there was an error loading this joke. Please try again later. Sasuke from Hamilton. I've played a few games of D&D, and my favorite class to play is the Bard, and my favorite Bard spell is Vicious Mockery, which is essentially where you say a magic yo mama joke and the target takes damage. The type of damage is kind of weird. Psychic damage? I never understood that. What the hell is psychic damage? How can that hurt you? I should amend that to say I've never understood that until now when reading this. Caused me to take psychic damage IRL. Ugh. Does anyone else develop habits because of their blobo? Unrelated, but I kind of want a glass of leche. Can someone please tell me what kind of musical notation this is? That's a shark. Aye, true skirt of the high seas. <laughs> warning, warning, warning. This post will explode in 10 seconds. Hey, why are you guys using AI to chat with fictional characters? I can do that with my mind. What if you fried various eggs consecutively and stacked them like they were pancakes? Whoops, well, sorry, that was the previous post exploding. My bad. Anyway, at my local library, a little girl dropped her library books to the return slot, waved, and shouted, Goodbye, books! Have a good day at school! And my heart grew three sizes! One time I dreamt the new Tumblr meme was a spherical whale, or Horb, and I and other Pokemon fans were being bullied because we said it was just Whalmer. Hey, Apollo! I have a request. I hate how you get desensitized to the cool stuff in your work in progress if you've been writing it for a long time. So when you read back over it, you're just like, this isn't as cool as I thought. But it still is. You just read it too many times. Gotta recirculate this post periodically just cause. But don't read the post too many times. Oh no. Girls are like, I'm fine. And then consume thousands of words of fan fiction to cope with their exhausting modern lives. Mmm, five pounds of Nemecola. A free stomach ache. Actually, bitch, it was a $6.16 stomach ache. Assuming I control what the hyperfixation is, is hubris. I control what I can, and it is not much. I will learn how to solder and make stained glass, and I will do it until it is good. Lol. Lamau even. In this house, we let our hyperfixations get hyper and fixate with reckless abandon. I hate the word discourse. It sounds like Goofy saying discuss. This post literally ruined my life. Hey, Mickey, you want to discuss Guardians of the- Oh my god, no. Oh my god, will it fucking kill you to just say they? No, my pronouns are now Sithethethurum, and my gender is entirely up to reader interpretation. Hmm, shorting his gender. If I have to foil your pronouns, you're going to algebra jail. <laughs> Replaces all of your milk with acid while you aren't looking. This morning's cereal is a bit off, I think. I hope someone put an anvil over your half-open door and you'll get crushed when you go to leave the room. Hmm, Pikachu moment. Don't compare me to him. Bingle would solo that Pikachu ass any day. <gasps> Ooh. My 70-year-old grandma has taken to referring to Mark Zuckerberg as Zuckerboy. And we need to adopt this permanently, I think. 
Holy shit, I followed this person back in the day on Live Journal. An actual thing I said about a Tumblr interaction in 2023. Tumblr, the internet friend's senior sanctuary. Shut your mouth. You people can't be crying about blonde, blue-eyed men, right? Naruto means everything to us. Okay, 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 sorry, carry on then. This fly was sealed into the ground at work, and I think that is super cool. Forever in our hearts and in our floor. Everyone do the dinosaur. Oh, hell no, I had e-sex and caught an NFT. <laughs> God damn, that's good. Ah, uh, today feels like a good day to wander into a forest for 30 years, only to come back with antlers, a thousand yard stare, and the ability to speak to the earth. Wait, Zelda's coming out this month? Yes, but he prefers chic. So it's the month of May, huh? <laughs> well, if you replace the M in May with G, well, you may be surprised at what you find. Gonth. Wait. Feeling sensitive and um, sweet and cute and sinister and plotting evil and being a monster. The new fusibility in Tears of the Kingdom is Nintendo explicitly encouraging us to get silly, and I love it. Puppy is capable of become a dog. Yeah, man. Frank, how much would you be willing to pay for someone to write a Wikipedia article about you? This is urgent. I can't explain the situation, but you need to answer as soon as possible. Please, my life could be in danger. Frank, how much money would you pay for a Wikipedia article? Please, answer, please. Nothing. The existence of such an article would make my life worse. First ever post, woo! You have failed the Tumblr. How so? By installing Tumblr. None of us are winners here. You see, Perry the Platypus, when Vanessa was a little girl, she wanted to take estrogen. Of course, I said yes. And since then, she's always been my little girl. Well, recently, Vanessa's school dead named her on her reports. Can you believe that? I mean, we live in a fairly progressive area, and hey, isn't that not allowed in public schools? Anyway, that's when I got the idea for this! The Dead Name Eracinator! That way, not only will Vanessa no longer be dead named, but every other trans person in the tri-state area! I had way too much fun doing that. Ugh, it's always, what are your plans for the future? You should really be planning for the future. And never, wow, that character you're obsessed with sounds so cool. Can you explain them to me? I'm sure you get them more than anyone else. God! Hungry Hungry Hippos taught me greed. Um, gluttony? I'm not eating small plastic balls. Pfft, pussy. This is feeling like a very hostile place right now. Redditor who's like, I'm an exclusive special type of human because I work as a software programmer. Versus Tumblr user who's like, everyone writes fan fictions and ships anime characters, right? Right, that's universal, right? I just realized it's called peanut butter because it's butter made with peanuts. My mind never connected butter and peanut butter before today. I, d I need to sit down for a second. What's next? You posting? Guys, did you know that a triangle is a triangle because it's got three angles? What? True 2000s nonsense was finding an AMV with a cool song and revisiting the AMV for the song instead of actually looking it up. It just sounds better on the AMV. I, I don't know what to tell you. King Minus. Get this monster out of my sight! Put it in a labyrinth so I never have to look it again! Gods, holy fuck! The Minotaur born like a day ago. Pfft. You're telling me people don't like when their cat is talkative? You don't like meow meow? You don't like meow meow? I literally adopted my cat because one of her characteristics on Pet Finder was talkative. And boy, oh boy, does she talk! I love my cat who never shuts up. Her other two characteristics were affectionate and large. The three qualities of a great cat. Talkative, affectionate, and large. I was put on this earth to do one thing. Luckily, I forgot what it was so I can do whatever I want. I'm sorry, did you mean... <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's not Legend of Zelda. It's... <clears throat>
Uh, hey, excuse me. Yes, you, the one reading this post. I hope you're safe, both physically and mentally. And if not, I hope you have people you can go to that you do feel safe with. Thank you, Snob. I've been calling my mom girl boss, and she either hasn't noticed or she just accepted that I'm a menace to society. Apple bottom beans. This is a 50k post to me. Don't kill me, please. Yo, can you believe no one had this URL? Oh my god. I love Butterfly Race because half the images of them online comes in two varieties, and it's a baby or I know what you are. I consider myself a micro-influencer and the way that I can get 10 to 15 people to consume a piece of media if I'm annoying enough about it. The other day, my math teacher was checking my homework and after he was done, he said, Bazinga! And walked away. And it hit me with such whiplash that I almost got up and walked out of the classroom. Things you can say in response to literally anything when you have nothing else to say. As the prophecy foretold. But at what cost? So let it be written, so let it be done. So, it has come to this. That's just what he, she, they would have said. Is this why fate brought us together? And thus, I die. Just like in my dream. Be that as it may, still may it be as it may be. There is no escape from destiny. Wise words by wise men write wise deeds in a wise pen. In this economy. And then the wolves came. I personally like the last two. A guy walks in with two puncture wounds on his neck like, you should see the other guy. And then a vampire walks in covered in those cartoony lipstick marks. Someone write this. I've been carrying around this cursed grimoire all day and no one's asked me about it. <laughs> Two dudes chilling in open graves five feet apart because they're not gay. This is actually an art piece by Miller and Shellabarger where they dug graves connected by a tunnel so they could hold hands. They're very much gay and IRL married. I will continue posting in big text and cannot be stopped. Lemon lime toilet. I'm afraid you're gonna have to stop. Yes, I am a triple threat. Mommy issues, daddy issues, issues. Shout out to Cheesecake and Cheese Cube, the only dogs near me that have a name including cheese. I hope you find loving homes, but I'm just a lonely college student without the ability to get a dog looking at Pet Finder to find joy in exam season. And the impulsivity demons made me look up cheese. I better get a follow-up story that these two got adopted and are in good homes, please. Be me, late at night, craving a Wendy's burger. Not even hungry, I know I'll only take a few bites and throw the rest away. I like the idea of eating a Wendy's burger, but not so much the reality of paying for something I won't eat. Decide to picture the burger instead. Vividly picture platonic form of Wendy's burger. It's perfect. They can't possibly fuck up the order because it's in my mind. I imagine eating the burger bite by bite. I finish. Feel better. No more craving. What the fuck is wrong with me? Capitalism zero. Burger topo one. The cha-cha slide in full metal armor. Slide to the left. One hop this time. Two hops this time. Everybody clap your hands. I am a snail. And God is salting me. I think about this post every time the lights at work are too bright and hurt my eyes. It's fun, it's fun to stay at the is it still Riz if they're Arrow Ace and you want to be friends with them so that you can study them under a microscope? Uh, asking because of a friend. I'm not quite sure on that one. Probably. Life is short. Double text all you want. I only double. <gasps> exactly. I am infinitely texting my crush. Oh god, no. Idea. A do not interact post, but it's just that one verse from Hardware Store by Weird Al. He they Delilah, what's it like in Pronoun City? Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Yes, I would like to inquire about my missing salmon on the table. Uh, okay, bye. So, what's your favorite hydrocarbon? I feel like PM Seymour's boosting your popularity by giving you a voice. How do you feel? Do I really need to express any opinion here? I feel like I just got a new, very competent ghostwriter for my Tumblr blog. I guess what I didn't realize that this is a robot. The Macking Cheese post changed my life. Shitting out mac and cheese in the microwave. Some queenie for today. I've never seen a mouse that looks so much like a mouse before. She looks like she belongs on the cover of beloved illustrated children's book. Look at this baby. 
Andy, please just take one of the pictures. Give it a kid's book title. Look, that's beautiful. It's perfect. There are a lot of similarities between Shadow the Hedgehog and Meta Knight, but one key difference is that while Shadow has a dark backstory to brood about, Meta Knight is just like that. Yeah, Meta Knight could have just been raised in a suburban neighborhood with two parents, a golden retriever, and a white picket fence, and he still would have turned out like that. Kirby fans who know the lore, is this true or not? I had a dream there was a new move and it was a dab, but the arms go down instead of up and the hand by your head was a fist and it was called the crunch. Maddie, I'm sorry to hijack your post, but that's the team magma pose. Also, extra fun fact, I'm pretty sure every single one of these guys has a mighty Yenna on their team and they all know crunch. Heck in my day, we didn't call it shit posting. We called it night blogging and blame the Australians. I've been on this godforsaken website for too long. I literally had the sensation of being slammed back in time just now. Nowadays, we just make bad content all day. Entities of assorted gender and species who may or may not identify as sentient. You have heard of hot spicy capsaicin and cold spicy menthol. Now it is time to complete the trifecta of spiciness. Just as our ancestors foretold of the elemental trifecta of fire, ice, and lightning, so too must we complete the spiciness trifecta. Behold, electric spiciness. That is the weirdest way to describe sour, but sure, I'll take it. If anyone tells you that you can't be badass and also girly, don't forget to tell them that one of the most beloved Norse goddesses, Freya, was the goddess of beauty, sexuality, and fertility, but she was also the goddess of sorcery, war, and death. Also, she did all this while riding a chariot pulled by cats. It's great. I love it. Why is this in black and white? Sorry, you will never convince me that FGO stands for anything else except Family Guy Online. Oh, Brian, this reminds me of the time that I was renowned anime character Gilgamesh. You gotta be as gay as possible on the computer. Otherwise, Alan Turing died for nothing. Obsessed with my partner's cishet friend because he is literally only friends with trans masks. Don't call yourself a cis ally unless 90% of your circle is trans. Fellas, you are never gonna believe what happened to her. <gasps> oh my god. I don't believe in astrology, but one time when I was in college, I was complaining about how dumb astrology was, and after a while, someone on the train went, SHUT THE HELL UP AND LET PEOPLE HAVE FUN, YOU CAPRICORN SUN VIRGO MOON BITCH! I was like, what the fuck? So I went home and looked it up, and they were right, so I... I, I, don't, I don't say anything anymore. Imagine being the last owner of Hanako, the 226-year-old Japanese koi that was spawned in 1751 and died in 1977. A fish that outlived seven emperors. A fish that survived the Second World War, and she dies in your care. I would never recover. I'm gonna be honest. What's the literal point of being a spellcaster if you never get a bit where you're levitating and your eyes are glowing and wind from nowhere is whipping your hair and clothes about, mostly back in a suitably dramatic wavy, and there's a strange light about you and fire or lightning or just power crackling, growing in your hands, and you say something authoritative and righteous in a slightly echoing voice and then blast someone. This is glowing and being righteous before healing your main damage healer for a massive amount of HP erasure. This is the only criticism I will accept. Excuse me. Level 9, D20, Meteor Storm. You can have that scene. Just saying. What if you wish? <sighs> My grip on reality is so loose. I thought it was your <laughs> No, I can't. No. Andy, just delete it. Just delete it. Get it out of here. <laughs> you have reached your limit on news. Boy, ain't that the truth. Ah, the biggest of moods. Writing prompt, congratulations, you're getting reborn. On the plus side, you'll be a god slash goddess. Downside, you'll be a Greek one and Zeus is mad at you. Good luck. Wait, no, <laughs> I do it, please. When you see a little kitty walking toward you at her leisurely pace and say, hi, baby, because you're excited to see her and she starts trotting a little bit faster because she's excited to see you too. That's what life is all about, I think. But what about how she says, just as she starts her little trot. Ugh, you can't make every character gay. It's not realistic. Well, have you considered that I'm actually going for utopian? Remember to consume water. It's vital to the quest. Do it. One day, kindness will exceed cruelty.
One day I'll forgive the manufacturer of my bedside table for making it magnetic to my little toe specifically. That day is not today. <sighs> Just saw a single piece of paper drift past 50 feet in the air over buildings like a beautiful white bird. Hey, has anyone seen my pet piece of paper? His name's Walter. He's very fragile, but very adventurous. Uh, I should never have left the window open in my 10-story apartment. Love when you stop a cat from doing something, and instead of understanding that they shouldn't be doing that, they're just like, Oh, sorry, my good sir. You seem to have interrupted me. No worries. Let me just sh shimmy past you and get a taste of that pan of hot oil, please. Riding prompt. A garden shop sometimes gifts mysterious tree saplings to customers, but they always wither away. You receive one and plant it, and it ends up flourishing. Oh no. Hey, can I get a made-up squirrel fact? They are celebrities in Croatia. C can someone get one time I dreamt to confirm or deny this? Ugh, one time I dreamt is the only Croatian Tumblr users know. <clears throat> yes, this is true. Squirrels are big here. So, how does it feel being the only person in Croatia ever in the eyes of Tumblr? I need all of you to... Go away. My posts aren't meant to be popular. But what if I did a thing? <laughs> Evermoth, you are terrible. Tumblr needs a not-for-you page where it just has things that you disagree with and it makes you angry. Oh, uh, that's called Twitter. Fun fact! Crows can talk like parrots do. It requires a process called freeing their tongue. Don't ask. But yes, I want to train a flock of them to say run and release them into a hiking trail. I, I want to ask, how many nightmares do you want to give people? All of them. Yeah, what was the original inspiration that was the foundation of for Cosmon that slowly spiraled into the brilliant thing that is Cosmon now? Sianna in general, I wanted to give her a story and world to interact in. So, basically you made an original universe for your original character to live in. Hey. We must let go of the myth that intimacy is going to be easy. We must stop romanticizing ease. We can do hard things. You know, that is good advice, but also why this picture? It's hard for two horses to be intimate when there's an erupting volcano nearby. What's not clicking? They should bring back the cane that swoops people off stage. That would be positive for society. That'd be great for debates. Thinking about deep sea creatures. They're out there. More like they're down there. Sometimes you're going to see a really stupid post and you're just going to have to keep your mouth shut online, but you can always say, shut the fuck up, dumb fuck, out loud. They can't hear you when you do that. I have a little plastic cap gun revolver next to my computer, and when I see a really bad post, I take it out and I shoot the post. Writing that down. So what do we think of kids today? Well, for one, they all have nut allergies. I suppose you do have to wonder how kids who are allergic to certain nuts were able to survive long enough to enter elementary school. That's a good point. Peanut butter is like everywhere. Hey, Icarus, bro, you want to order some high wings? Oh, 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 oh my God. I'm so fucking sorry, dude. When my boyfriend says wig in front of the cashier at Michael's while we're buying Christmas ornaments, and I know our cover is blown as a gay couple, and he just outed himself as a bottom. You were two men buying Christmas ornaments in a craft store. There was never a cover believed that you were a couple of straight bros. I hate y'all. Yeah. Per experimental protocol, we can't disclose whether your boyfriend is part of the test group or part of the control group. Nor can we comment on the likelihood of his inclusion in either cohort. Yeah, suffice to say that it's possible that we're sorry about your boyfriend. Yeah. The urge after watching a period drama to speak only in full and proper sentences without the use of a single conjunction is overwhelming. But I am sure I can overcome it. Shit! How is any of this considered blogging? Sometimes plushies make me cry because it's like they're little guys made to be loved. Their only purpose is to be held and hugged and loved. We made them because we love making things and we love doing things and they're so cute. <laughs> Group of friends who are close because they all have the same superpower, except no, they don't. As in, they all think the other ones have the same superpower as them, but in fact, they do not. For example, 
Time Traveler who is always running into these other people who seem to know what's going on or what will happen and is so happy he can finally share his travel stories. A Precognitive who is relieved he isn't the only one with the gift and is so glad to help averting future disasters. A Mind Reader with a horrible memory who tries to stay on top of things by skimming surface thoughts. You want to talk about next week's election results and how they change the next decade? She's with you. Totally normal guy who thinks the others have the absolute best bit ever and loves playing along. They saved the world at least twice without a single clue shared between the four of them. Why does this feel like misfits? Sorry, I'm going to be more normal about him. I need to hunt him for sport. Resisting the urge to ask the people around me to describe how they view me in full, excruciating detail. And then also explain why they view me like that in full, excruciating detail. Behold, behind the scenes of Godzilla 1998. Man, why do they just have this guy fight him off? Dude's huge. Best job in medieval times is probably being the guy who pushes the ladders off the wall when the castle's getting attacked. Literally just pushing it going, bye. Did you know you can strip an angel of its divinity by touching it with a magnet because the memory on its hard drive is easily erased by anything with a strong enough magnetic field? Is that how they work? Okay, listen, we need to talk about your girlfriend. I know you're doomed by the narrative and all, but she keeps defying the will of fate with her vain and ever more desperate attempts to save you. It's seriously going to rend the fabric of space-time if she keeps this up. I'm, I'm not even joking. We're all going to end up in a closed loop of the King reality. It, if, it's not cute. Stop laughing. If you're wondering, is this a post about that one thing with the lesbian, the answer is yes. Words cannot describe the childlike wonder and joy felt when you encounter a restaurant and they have those fancy soda machines capable of creating wondrous concoctions. The behold, the potion maker. How come every vampire in vampire stories is like a hundred years old though? Why can't we get like a newbie vampire? Like, how long have you been 17? In about a year and a half, actually. It, it's kind of trippy. I am what they call a conflict escalator. A trained specialist in escalating even the most minor disagreements to the brink of all-out violence. A Twitter user? Why don't you just... Uh, stop. The answer is either money or anxiety. Or the bone pharaoh. Stupid bone pharaoh. Hey, is it gay to promise your best friend that you'll wait for them and finally make them feel loved and happy again no matter how long it takes despite reliving your own trauma in the process? Uh, 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 asking for a friend. The Egyptian Mao is probably the oldest breed of cat. In fact, the breed is so ancient that its name is the Egyptian word for cat. Did they name him Mao because that's the sound cats make? Well, now I'm just imagining a very early Egyptian encountering a wild cat for the first time. What the fuck are you? Oh, okay then. I love when they draw a carrot on top of the carrot cake. Just to remind you, this ain't no fucking ordinary cake you're dealing with. Hey, I guess who got too silly and is now going to therapy. Wowzers. Any of y'all ever look at girls? They're just so pretty. One time I went through the Taco Bell drive through and when I tried to order a Baja Blast, I said, Mountain Boom. And then I just left. I couldn't recover. Girl, you need to get out of bed faster than this. I'm giving it all she's got, boss. I'm really, really bad at conversations. Sorry if I've ever talked to you. Doctor diagnosed me with a kind heart and a dope soul. Prescribed me 7,000 milligrams of love and laughter. <laughs> No, I'm not going to tell you what I'm actually on. Magic is real, you fools. It happens when you make other people laugh. <clears throat> and... Girl, you look like you dropped common loot when defeated. Uh, oh my god. That is brutal. I moved into a two-family house, and it turns out our upstairs neighbors is a beekeeper. There's 20,000 bees in the backyard. She said they're friendly and they will learn my face and behavior pattern and not bother me. I do not want 20,000 bees knowing my face and behavior patterns. Mortifying ordeal of being known by 20,000 bees. Hey, that's 20,000 new friends. You like jazz? I guarantee it. Thanks, Windows.
Cats don't know what words mean, and I love that about them. I can say, you are a beautiful little angel child, and I love you more than anything else in the entire world. But also, you wretched little clown bastard. You've created such a big mess, and now I have to clean it because I have hands and you don't. This is God's cruelest joke. And they don't care. They just say, and put their little paws on me. Thanks again, Windows, Jesus Christ. I am a writer, creator of worlds. Enter me. You sit on a throne of unused notebooks. Behold, rainbows with tornado and lightning. The gays are angry. The current ongoing humor of Tumblr is to use monumental and high highfalutin words to describe egregiously mundane things. And I think that's beautiful. Guarantee you I got one of those words wrong. Uh, just so you know, Team Rocket's agents are named after two famous outlaws, Jesse James and Butch Cassidy. I feel like everyone would know this, but I have been proven wrong before. Girl who gets fired from her job at a city planner for making the buildings kiss. It's called collapsing, Charlotte. Hundreds died. Big smoochie. God forbid women do anything. There's dogs in your Wi-Fi that run around on the wires and cables and shit, delivering you your precious fucking information hanging in their mouths. And if you don't love that, get a VPN. What's surreal, PM, is that I've been watching your YouTube stuff for years now, and I now moved to Tumblr, and you're just like, you're just like here. Like, you exist now. I can just post this, and you will most likely see it. Or... You might be surprised how long I've been on Tumblr, too. How long? Twelve years. That's a lot, of, that's a lot of years of being on this side. The truest expression of love is giving someone a cool rock you found. PLV, you're a penguin. Hey, if punching someone is called a knuckle sandwich, then hitting someone with your knees should be called a knees burger. Okay, thank you for your time. Would you like a knees burger? Looking at which characters is funny because there's pretty young people and then there's creatures. Hey, it, it's your boyfriend. Yeah, they, they keep doing things to me. Yeah, I, I'm I'm in a lot of pain at every hour of the day. Yeah, please, please help. Yeah, you better get back here. You know those characters that dress up in huge and terrifying suits of armor, but in reality are just little small beings that look deceptively harmless until you point out how tiny they are, and then they proceed to annihilate you with a sword as big as their armor? Yeah, that's a vibe. Those are good characters. I like those. There needs to be a word for when you're starving, but also would rather die than eat any of the food in your kitchen. ChatGBT invented that word, snub grumblies, meaning you're grumbly, but too snub to eat any food you're not interested in. <sighs> Why did it have to be ChatGBT, though? The image of myself in my head has become so skewed to the point where this is just what I look like in my head. Like, boy, me, I'm not a small little silly fellow. I want to be a little cat surrounded by the horror floor. Wow, this is like too intimate to share with my close friends or family. Let me just put this on my Tumblr blog for hundreds of strangers to see. The human brain literally needs to color green, grass and leaves to like self-calibrate and not go insane. I sincerely believe this. So what you're saying is, is we need more green characters in our lives, right? Is that what, is that what you're saying? If you're not obsessed with anything weird and niche, ugh, please try harder. Stop going outside for a while. Consider getting weirder about the things you already like. Dog motive. I have a loophole for you. What if they're obsessed about going outside? Ugh, why would you know that? I am curious about the world around me. I googled best cat in the internet. Do what you want with this information. <gasps> you look like a little girl. You character. I love him. Just know if I could crawl on the ceiling on all fours. I would. Marvel's dedication to betraying J. Jonah Jameson as a complex three-dimensional character with likable traits and sympathetic qualities is really funny because <laughs> it's led to the creation of a character who failingly stands for the truth and integrity in journalism, except for this one specific dude he is absolutely convinced is putting chemicals in the water to turn the frogs gay. I thought by now my desire to have a sword would have gone away. Apparently not. The desire for a sword never goes away. I have two. 
I still have a desire for swords. Me, a clueless cowboy. Yeehaw? Oh my god, stop. A writing prompt. You throw your rent bill across the room in frustration and it lands under your bed. A few seconds later, a claw pushes the bill back out with a wad of cash. Monster under the bed finally banks fucking rent. Probably bad RPG idea. Evil halflings. There's just something afoot with them. <sighs> Jeff took over the account. Sure, he's a walking, talking curse to humanity, but I like to look at his boobs. Ever thought about that? Being a good artist isn't about having artistic talent. It's about practice and having the willpower of a roach that has been smacked 20 times on the rolled up magazine and yet still refuses to die. Girl, I've got a million questions, but all of them are lame ass questions. So I will be asking you none of them. Have a good day. Bye. Devastating. They all got pancaked. How could you do that to them? They're just babies. DM. The guard will not let you pass. The bard. I'm going to ask again, this time with Riz. Roll persuasion. 27. You raise up the guard and grit through. Andy, I promise to not say that. Maybe. Literally anyone puts butter, garlic, and onions in a pan. Me busting through their wall like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> Smells good, what you cooking? Angels with pronouns be like he, him. Blue hair and proverbs. Don't be funnier than me. Stop it. Jesus turned water into wine. Okay, yeah, well, I can turn water into soup. Watch me. Being alive is great because there's so many different vegetables you can saute, but then there's also the horrors. Saute them too. The neurodivergent experience is talking about your brain as if it's a separate entity from yourself. Uh, is it not? Ugh, the notes bubble is disgusting. Get that out of my sight. Yuck, ugh, blech. This is not healthy and actually extremely stressful for the animal. Please, let them free roam. This is actually sickening. Yuck. I really need a new vocabulary. I can't keep saying iconic and king over and over again. If you see me in the tag saying shit like, wow, renowned, or his majesty is out there. Mind your business, I'm figuring it out. Transcend it, my liege. I have to tell you something that will lower your entire opinion of me. When I was 12, I made flyers for my fan fiction and handed them out at a train station. I'm blown away by the sheer confidence this act required. If anything, my opinion has been raised. The poise. The fearlessness, the laughing in the face of death. I'm speechless. Why do 90% of all medicines sound like cool wizard names? It is high, Zyrtec the Almighty. I am writing that name down. Vanity may be a sin, but I'll be going to hell looking fire. B but no, really, please help, I'm on fire. Beautiful women make me feel like, I don't know, a startled horse. Hi, ladies. Sorry for giving a sprightly little kick in the air as I ran away earlier when you tried to approach me. I, I was just overwhelmed. Please, I'm begging you, don't make me into the next hee-hee-hoo-hoo -hoo funny internet post. Time to send it to a YouTubes. One day it was just me minding my own business that I started getting likes out of nowhere. Where the fuck are you people coming from? I don't know, man. You're the one who offered to draw a frog. If you've heard of writer's block, you get ready for reader's block. You want to read. You have time. You know what to read. You have a pile of books ready to be read. And you cannot sit still and focus enough to do so. Or you can't even open the book. Horrible. Don't like that. Good job. Oh my god, guys. I'm learning anatomy. <laughs> this absolutely fucking sucks. <laughs> eBay listing pictures remain an untapped well of fantastic images. Look at that. <laughs> I guess you could say <laughs> Vaporeon's got the uh, <laughs> It's got the drip <laughs> Andy, please just end the video <laughs> It's got the drip <laughs> It's got the drip <laughs> It's got the drip Drip, drip Drip, 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 drip This is to the guy in the electronics department at Walmart who, when I approached and said, game, because it was the only word that could come to me, went, yeah. 
and walked me straight to Tears of the Kingdom. No questions asked. Bless you. Why is it when I find a guy that wants to date me, he ends up hurting me in the end? Like, hey, God, stop hurting me for character development or I'm going to develop into a villain. Hot take. I'd rather be alone and miserable than have to burden someone I love with my awful mental state. Go this, this, this right here, this, this. So do we all agree that YouTuber slash influencer is the by far best job for a vampire, right? The bonus points if they're VTubers and just pretend to have the model on. Looking at you, Nosferatu. To be honest, hate watching is such an alien concept to me. I can barely be bothered to watch the things I do want to watch. Why would I bother looking at something I know I won't like? This is a good point. Water bender bending a gender fluid person. Yeah, call that a gender bender. Yeah. Sorry, but in my conquest for power, I had to take the femme from your boys and give it to my men. An army of femmen. Absolutely horrible that I cannot make the colon three face IRL. This is wretched. Earth, you are my wishing star. Here's how you look from my home on the surface of Mars. You are my wishing star is so romantic. Why is Mars Rover so slick? I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but suffering is not noble. Take the Tylenol. One time when I was younger, I was refusing to take headache medicine, and my mom said, you know, the person who invented that medicine is probably so sad you won't let them help you. And now every time I find myself denying medicine, I just imagine the saddest scientist making those big wet eyes like, why won't you let me help? And whoop, then I take the medicine. That's actually a good way of doing that, writing that down, thank you. Probably bad RPG idea. Establish your big bad as the villain by having them throw a multi-million extravagant parade to celebrate how great they are as they sit in golden robes in their palace while the peasants are finding it difficult to buy bread. Purely fictional, no resemblance to real events. Mm. So what are you guys working on? Just surviving, really. That's our two. Can you imagine not being human and just living out your days as a weeping willow, though? Beautiful, by the water, unburdened, ideal. I want to be the one from Harry Potter that beats the shit out of everyone and everything. Hmm. My nose occasionally sounds like a Geiger counter. Am I going crazy or are the nanobots taking over? Oh, shit. Andy, Andy, quick, pull out the nanobots. They're activating. Yep. That's enough of that. I'm evil, I'm unlovable, I'm wretched, I'm turning into something unrecognizable, I am a monster. Sat alone in room for too long. Y'all ever do the ADHD thing where you have an extreme craving for a specific food item, and if you don't eat just said food item in the next 30 minutes, you will drop dead on the spot? That's an ADHD thing? I want to look so gender, people won't be able to tell if I'm a femboy or a tomboy. Damn. Powerful. None of y'all know what propaganda actually is, do you? Yeah, it's when a British person takes a good look at something. This is legitimately the funniest thing anyone has ever said to one of my posts. Thank you for your service. Andy, I'm sorry. I gotta do it. This is revenge for what you did last video. Propaganda. 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 The cat owner invited their neighbor over for dinner and introduced their four cats. That's Alog, Aract, Erpriller, and Astrophy. They announced. The neighbor was surprised and asked, where on earth did you get those names? Oh, those are their last names, the owner said. Their first names are Cat. <sighs> when you set out on the path of revenge, dig two graves. You never know when the other guy might have cloned himself. Thank you, evil wizard. I'm so tired of John Bizarre Adventure. I don't want to see those large and colorful men on my dashboard anymore. Well, that's why they deactivated. They got hit with the colorful men. When I'm listening to my own library and playlists, I feel like a powerful wizard. But when I'm trying to show my music taste to anyone, it feels like I have a shame going on. Yeah, the only difference between a wizard hat and a dunce cap is a wide brim of privacy. Ask.com, what is a baby worm called? There is no term for a baby worm. It is just called a worm. Well, this just makes me sad. I'm calling them squiglets. I've never played D&D &D before, but I've come up with the cutest bard character I could possibly imagine. Okay, imagine this. Frog. But j j just hear me out for a second. This bard 
is a frog who can't speak English. All he could do is ribbit and croak. And the DM would have a list of translations of different ribbit and croak patterns to translate what the frog is saying. For example, ribbit croak croak could mean how are you? Or croak ribbit could mean good evening. Is this a good idea or would it be too complicated? No, I think it would work, but it would also come down to if your bard magic is actually going to be like ribbit singing or if they're also going to use an instrument because that might be where it gets tricky. You know, I could be the person who changes the stoplights. Red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. It comes naturally to me. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, your boyfriend is someone's favorite Borbo. Yeah, so he's in a bunch of scenarios in their head. Super sorry. The fact that pro-monarchy arguments have degenerated over the past few centuries from the king rules by divine right and is accountable to nobody but God to um, the royals generate a lot of income from tourism will never stop being extremely funny to me. The monarchs, bad. But the castles, oh, the castles are positively lush with rats. Delete this account immediately. It's all about reading the URL names, kids. An evil spirit is playing my throat bones like a xylophone. My throat hurts. Please stop. Nobody knows where I came from. I just showed up one day and started doing my thing, and God was like, who the hell is that? I didn't invite them. Pets are amazing. You have a little guy just hanging around your house, just vibing. And they let you pet them. Whispering, no. While reading a book because you know that the character is about to make a fool out of themselves and kill you with secondhand embarrassment. Happy Feet is a story of a little autistic dude who stems so good he caused a reformation in the church. Goals, really? You do not have to complete this drawing right now. You can always come back to it later. Hey, I have ADHD. And if I stop at any given point, then this project will be dead to me. There will be no coming back to it later. To be honest, if someone just handed me a pressure washer and set me loose in the streets, I would go into a trance and just start hosing shit down indiscriminately. It's not a question of how much I could clean, but how long until I get hit by a car and die. Super Mario Sunshine. I can fix them. Okay, but I can fix the narrative. I can recontextualize events and bring out deaths of the character. I can shift priorities and strengthen relationships and show that anyone can change with enough kindness and support. And that what you admired at him has been inside yourself this whole time. Wow. <sighs> the angels and Evangelion got it right. Sometimes it is really about just being a floating orb, a floating octahedron, or a large string of light. Or sometimes the main character's mom. So I just found out that bats can purr. So does that mean vampires can also purr? I've, I, like, imagine a vampire just cuddling with their partner and they just start purring. I googled it and apparently vampires can indeed purr. This changes everything. Yes, yes, you're very beautiful, bewitching even. Awful parking job, by the way. No one can love you until you love yourself. Is like the worst possible way of articulating. If you don't respect and value yourself, it's very easy to become attracted to people who don't treat you right and then justify the mistreatment. So be careful. So that's what it's supposed to mean. That actually makes sense. Yo, Earl Grey really put his whole ass pussy into this tea blend, and I don't know what the fuck a bergamot is, but this shit tastes like men's deodorant and it fucks. As a habitual Earl Grey drinker, I think tastes like men's deodorant will stay with me for the rest of my life. I hate that you're kind of right. I... God damn you, wizard potions! The what if I jokingly shipped it to the I genuinely ship it pipeline is real and it knows your location. You can have characters in your mind. But watch out! They will move in forever and won't even pay rent. Give all bosses health meters. I thought this was about, like, managers IRL and was very confused. I hate the guessing game on how much damage my attacks do against the regional manager. God! Yeehaws. Safely. I'm gonna be stuck in a heat pass. Existence is weird and strange and extrinsic. Can't stop you from making something silly or cool or mundane. If it makes you happy, it's good. Mm, not enough whimsy. 30 years in the dungeon for you. Damn, shorty, your blobo had the most recognizable tits ever. You <laughs> shut your mouth. I hate these modern all plastic playgrounds for kids. Safety, blah, 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 blah. They're ugly. I know that children crave steel and iron. Rock and stone. Asked for a two piece of KFC and they asked breast or thigh. I said personality and they threw hot grease on me. Why is Texas called the Lone Star State? 
Because you can't leave a zero stars rating. Stars and I do big bright. We all love the becoming the very thing you sought to destroy trope, but I have a growing fondness for destroying the very thing you sought to become. Mix them up into a thick slurry of you end up becoming the thing you sought to destroy in order to destroy the thing you sought to become. Jesus, are you guys writing campaigns here? Pros of having a brain that makes very fast associations. Good comebacks and jokes. Cons of having a brain that makes very fast associations. The story about how you broke your foot reminded me of a fun fact about lizards. Yeah. yeah. Listen, sometimes you just got to keep a shuffle through the sadness. <laughs> to the right, to the right. Damn, baby girl, why you forget everything? You're so sexy. Get away from me. The fact that there are only two numbers between four and seven is so twisted and fucked up, I'm literally going to be sick. The girls are learning to count. Technically, there's an infinite amount of numbers between them, but I'm afraid if I try to explain decimals, I'll either lose my gay card or get shot. My inner eight-year-old is constantly freaked out at the realization that life is not some special state of matter. I am a mineral being. My insides are red because rust is red. The internal structure my body secretes is made out of the same stuff as cliffs and chalk. I am a wet rock that time tricked into thinking. A wet rock that time tricked into thinking got me. I, I think Ortel needs a little nap. Andy, can you set them up a little bit, please? There we go. Per be be behold, uh, internet cable line accidentally drilled through unknown buried woman. Good going, now the internet's haunted. Explains the state of things. Why would you ship Zelda with Ganondorf when Orbosa is right there? Why would you ship Ganondorf with Zelda when Twink is right there? You mean you don't just, you know, this, this right here? Put Sidon in there somewhere. So let's see, Urbosa is for Zelda, Sidon is for Link, and I really can't see Sidon doing anything with Zelda or Urbosa doing anything with Link, to be honest. Ganon definitely goes with Link and Zelda, though, for sure. So the rules of the Triforce and geometry implies the existence of an anti-Ganondorf connected to Urbosa, Zelda, Link, and Sidon at the same time. Here, I fixed it for you. Ah, there, there we go. Midden is right there. Meanwhile, poor Pius crying in the corner. Men don't like that. It's such a turn off. Good. Turn off. Where's your off button? Shut up. Stop making noise. Andy, find our off button and shut it off. No offense, but I've been learning how to have fun in dumb circumstances. I was showering during the storm tonight, and the light started flickering violently. So I peeked out from the curtain and looked at my cat sitting on the counter and said to her, Mrs. Obama, it's been an honor. And then the power went out. Your comedic timing is godly. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Uh, no thank you. Ever want to raise an emotionally sound child just to flex on your parents? Yeah. One time I dreamt I spilt milk on my laptop and it exploded. This sounds like something that would happen considering the laptop I had from 2007 to 2019 burst into flames on my lap. What? Apparently, Thursday at my school is dressed like your romantic type day. Presumably not an official school event. Anyway, do this with your OCs. Well, that sounds like a fun idea, actually. I think we should all get tomorrow off for no particular reason. The next day, too. You know, maybe all the days. Yeah. 20s mobster boyfriend who is weirdly affirming because he just answers everything with, All right, boss. And on it, boss. And good idea, boss. And started playing Tears of the Kingdom. And the amount of times I said, Well, hello, when I find something has skyrocketed. Yeah, that game does it, do you? Don't die is my favorite thing to tell people when they're going to go do something. Going to the store? Don't die. Going to the bathroom? Don't die. Going to Mars? Don't die. Going to write an email? Don't die. Driving to the gas station? Don't die. It fits every situation except maybe a funeral visitation because then I think that'd be a little bit rude. My toxic trait is how confident I am I could be a guardian of the galaxy. Hey, listen. If crispy rats can do it, so can you. Today's inspirational message. We do this not because it is easy, but because we thought it would be easy. <sighs> Mood. My attention span is a 10-year-old. Reads the Lord of the Rings trilogy in like two sittings. 
My attention span now. Checks internet every 10 minutes during important task. Opens new tab of same site I'm already browsing and got tired of. Well, I feel fucking called out. Personally, I always felt like hobbits age at roughly the same age as exceptionally healthy humans. And the reason that they don't come of legal age until 33 is because have you met people in their 20s? Because Tolkien did. Funny, Pippin is an idiot because he's not an adult yet. Funnier, Pippin is an idiot because he's 28. I read that as of lethal age, no less than three times. Hobbits received their license to kill at 33. This all post was a blessing. Your reaction to ChatGBT instantly lets me know how easy it is it would be to trick you into thinking that you are haunted. Oh my god, it's literally alive. Two beers, 45 minutes, deck of tarot cards, and I'm charging you $350 for an exorcism. You know, all clothes are unisex when you're normal. Damn, hey, right? No, no, sweetie, mommy's bearing the curse. <sighs> Electrostatics is a branch of physics that studies electric charges at rest. I will love this image for the rest of my existence. What day gave creation to such wonderful imagery? What events led up to this occurrence? I want to know. Oh, they look so guilty. A relationship, except it's not a relationship because both sides are too scared to make the first move. Oh, I feel like that's going to summon the miraculous ladybug fandom. And when you pull out a pin of a grenade, how do you put it back? Urgently? Quick answers, please. Not to vague blog, but there is someone on Tumblr. Pucky, why is all your merch gone? I wanted a tax evasion hoodie, but now I can't get one, so we have to duel. They come in campaigns. They're like sexy little ghosts that I can summon. Ooh, buy my merch. I don't want traditional burial. I want to become a bog body. Excellent. I'm an archaeologist and I do research on bog bodies. Thank you. This is threatening. Three hours of silence. I think that's called tinnitus. Ran into someone from my high school who told me they had recently transitioned and I was over the moon because I had forgotten their name. File under even more blatant proof cis people can joke about trans people without it being at their expense. Hmm. I didn't almost die for not money. Chaotic neutral ranger about wanting to get paid. How many words does it take to fill my EXP bar before I level up as a writer? Too many. Our Japanese class found it funny that in common terminology, food isn't very distinguished from specifically rice, until it was pointed out that in English, meal is loose, roughly ground grain. Humans be like stable crop. Stable crop to what? Directly to forehead. Apply this post directly to forehead. Start consuming currency. Consume, eat it, until there's nothing left. What are they gonna do? Put all eight billion of us in a prison? We must unite for this cause. As they say, eat your greens. Vote not allowed. The fuck, man? Do I have a Tumblr criminal record or some shit? New Tumblr feature. Voter suppression. Behold. Fuzzbug. He will deliver serotonin and give you fluffy hugs. <gasps> I love him. This is a no gimmick account zone. If your shit is called something like we write posts, you are not welcome. Go home. I disagree. <laughs> YouTube musicians, when a new Pokemon generation is announced, will compose Pokemon door and window battle team sponge boss fan made prediction. And it's orchestral with chanting in the background and just meant to sound super evil and dramatic, like you're fighting the Antichrist. And then door and window finally come out and you finally confront the real leader of Teen Sponge and he's this pale twonk with pink hair and blue eyes who dabs before throwing his first Pokeball and, and his canon battle theme is a Eurobeat remix of the It's Muffin Time song from Astiff Movie. And don't forget the gratuitous use of Gen 5 light motifs. Definitely don't forget that. It's over, mannequin! I have the high ground! Look, I'm sorry, okay? Just... Okay? Hey, Hoofpeak, can you share that fucked up photo of your laptop from Twitter? Bananas. Do not let the Yiga clan anywhere near OP. Eh. Um, why do you charge money for your art? Well, big fan of eating. That's a start. Oh, <sighs> wish I was floating in a big glass tank full of neon green fluid while a bunch of guys in lab coats monitored my brain activity. You are king, you just don't know it yet.
That moment when you realize the project you expected to be no more than 500 words is now over a thousand. Oh, God. You know, I put this napkin on Bean as a joke, but he hasn't moved out from under it, and it's been about 20 minutes, so... Mother has given me a blanket. It is a most joyous day. Unironically, people need to learn to say, they haven't done anything wrong. I just find them annoying. Yes. You don't need a 3,000 word essay to just dislike something. You can just not like it. Takes off my leather jacket to reveal a second secret leather jacket underneath. You mean skin? What an absolutely terrifying addition to my post. Thank you. Yeah, you know, a friend of mine who worked leather had this leather conditioner that he used for sunburn that he swore worked fantastically. My face must have displayed my misbelief. He just shrugged and said, skin is just leather waiting to happen. Skin is just leather waiting to happen? What? Have you seen this man? Well, now you have. Look at him, baby. Um, I wasn't trauma dumping. I was telling you my lore. God, vinyl is so cool. Like, you just you just put a circle on a spinny and it plays the music you like. <gasps> Almost forgot the pointy. There's also a pointy. It's pretty cool. Writing prompt. Like how Prometheus gave fire to man, you too have followed in his footsteps and gave fire to the Corvids. <sighs> Flame breathing crow. Flame breathing crow. Flame breathing crow. Always interesting how trans people see their transition. Some people are like, I was a boy, now I'm a girl. Some are like, I was always a girl. And every once in a while, you get a fun one like, I used to be a boy, but the girl won. This vessel used to belong to a young man, but he had a weak will and gave in to my dark influence. That's a good one. I love tiny bug type Pokemon so much. They're like the best things ever. Look at them. If Pokemon were real, I wouldn't have depression. I just have a bunch of bugs in the pocket of my cargo pants. In the Pokemon, th this would be me. Look at that Joltik, I love them. I really enjoy just existing in hotels. The long identical hallways, the soulless abstract art, the weird noises the air conditioner makes, strange city lights in the window, six stories off the ground, strangers chatting in the hall, nothing in the dresser, no past, but an infinite present. Damn, man, what hotel did you stay at? Mm, just seen a bathroom sign that says Femmes. I'm sure if this is woken out. Update, the men's room says Holmes. The seafood restaurant is safe from the woke mob, but not from the dastardly Frenchman. <laughs> Link, crushed by taluses, shot with lasers, set on fire. Fancy him fall from the sky into the water. Ugh, that should have killed him. Man's a cockroach, you just finding out? The story is a tragedy because it didn't have to end this way. Versus, the story is a tragedy because it was always going to end this way. All right, top one right there, that's Elden Ring. Bottom one, that's Dark Souls. So fucking eepy. Dare I say it, maybe a little deepy. <gasps> yeah. You know, just because he's evil and can't be reasoned with doesn't mean he can't be my baby girl. Ugh. I was gonna do this one with the music and everything too on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure YouTube would actually flag that. So, we're just gonna do this one dry, but if you go to somewhere else, like Twitter or Tumblr, it might be there. Anyway, here we go. Stacy's mom turned me into a frog. I'm eating flies and live inside a log. Stacy, can't you see? She has placed a spell on me. Now I'm in a bog and look just like a small green frog. Fuck it, I also might just make it a short on YouTube with the music, okay? Okay. Hey, hamster, you won't believe this, but I just saw your evil shadow twin, May Not Hamster. If anyone asks, they did it. I can fix him. I can make him worse. Yeah, well, I can pet him on the head like a doggy. Is this about blood? Me news, the Brazilian actress Renata Sora came out as bisexual at the age of 76. That's her, by the way. She's an icon and also very talented. We stand. Well, now we know what she's trying to work out. How to unregister from NBA draft. I don't want to play. How to dodge NBA draft. Car company named Edison that sells the exact same cars as Tesla with a different logo. <laughs> That's good. My legs end, and yet, where's my praise? What songs have been written in my honor? Why do the townspeople not throw roses anytime I enter the gates? Blasphemy, I say.
Behold a very wee hermit crab. <sighs> His shell too big for he goddamn him. And now, a word from the Washington State DNR. If you encounter a cougar on the trail, we strongly recommend the opposite of pss. But, but I won't. You experience feelings of alienation. I experience feelings of alienation. A sword made out of the wreckage of a U.S. military plane gifted by Laotian communists to Vietnam. This is the only weapon that can kill Henry Kissinger. Item. Kissinger Bane Blade. <laughs> Let it rip. <laughs> Ugh, not all girls are made of sugar, spice, and everything nice. Some are made of muscles, tendons, blood, bones, and skin. Oh, cool. I train these clever creatures to save victims trapped in collapsed buildings after earthquakes. We kit them out with a rat backpack and train them to trigger a switch when they find a victim and come back for a tasty treat. Imagine being buried alive and then seeing this little guy with a backpack suddenly arrive. It gets better. So you're trapped into rubble, then a rat shows up, flicks a switch on its little tum-tum, and starts talking to you. Well, the Rescuer's live-action adaptation looks good as hell, actually. Historical inaccuracies in period dramas are okay as long as I like them. They are, however, punishable by death if I don't. It just seems very selective. Cell phone doesn't like water because it is a combination of the other three elements. It is a rock earth that we fill with lightning fire and can control radio waves air. If it contained water too, it would be too perfect. It would be like a god. To prevent this, the universe kills the would-be uniter of the elements. It's basic science. Hey, OP, Google what LCD stands for. I took an oath in third grade to never do drugs. So, so that's a sober thought you're having right there. Why so problematic, Batman? The Kensler. Why so twice, Batman? The Onesler. I'm crying and praying that Kensler is going to get you for this. You know, Mewtwo as a concept is so fucked up. If a bunch of scientists cloned me and my clone had wider hips, I'd end it all. I love him for that and other things, not even denying that. Well, you know what they say. When they shaped like a pear, you're in for a scare. <laughs> Dude, that was so fucking stupid. Gentle reminder, you are very capable and I'm excited for your future. Slightly less gentle reminder, you do have to work for it. Mm. I like saying I'll allow it only in context where I have no power or authority. On the topic of short Link, here's your forced reminder that Link is smaller than Zelda in Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, A Link Between Worlds, Breath of the Wild, Age of Calamity, Tears of the Kingdom. Hell, even in the original Legend of Zelda, she's like a pixel taller than him, maybe. Every time you draw a Link taller than Zelda, A.G. Numa cries. I've seen it, you guys, he, he just burst into tears. Don't do it. I haven't seen any cat gifts lately. What has happened to the internet? Is the apocalypse starting? Andy Quick, you might want to give him a cat gif. These koi are really aggressive, but look at the markings. Beautiful. These new bots are not okay. Them having actual Tumblr names is giving me psychic damage. I, I feel like curling up in a corner and crying. Yesterday, remaining forefinger followed me, and the fact that this isn't a non-binary artist from Poland who works as a dentist assistant, but a bot makes me want to scream. Pour one out for this choice by URL. Oh, man. That is a good name. Do you ever wonder what it's like outside of Hyrule? There's sometimes mentions of other lands and kingdoms, so Hyrule isn't the only country in that world, but, like, do the residents of those areas have to deal with the same shit as Hyrule? Like, when the average Zelda villain shows up and summons a bunch of monsters, do they have to fight Lizalvos and stuff, or are they, like, spared from this fate by virtue of not being Hyrule, and they just watch what happens from afar, like passerby staring at an overturned truck on the highway? That's a very good question. Cat genders, best and prettiest girl ever, distinguished little man, baby, old woman who constantly judges, a scrunkly fellow, sink gremlin, lesbian, bitey. Much like humans, these genders are not connected to reproductive organs, but are based mainly on vibes. All true and correct, but I think you missed two. Bastard and idiot, which are, in my professional opinion, different from bitey and scrunkly fellows.
You know what? Yes, you're absolutely correct. I don't know why people think that Ohio is so weird. If anything, I think that New York and its cities are weird. What can you experience in New York? The web slinging Spider-Man, literal ghost, human-sized mutant turtles, giant fruit landing on buildings, live dinosaurs escaping the Natural History Museum, and a grown-ass man who thinks he's an elf? What do we have in Ohio? Corn and pie heads. That's it. Not so weird now, are we? The thing about that is, Purple Winter Sash, yours are real. Today's gay mission. Approach a straight couple and casually ask, so who's the tall for one shampoo in the relationship? Oh my God, you shut your mouth. I always am about to go to sleep at a beautiful 11 p.m. And then something happens to me. Rings my glass with knife handle at your wedding. May I have your attention, please? I would like to make a call out toast for the couple as they owe me 10 bucks, but also I wish them happiness. Yeah, I'll provide the confetti for your wedding. On your special day, you realize too late you are being showered and printed off miniature copies of all your problematic tweets. Evil. It's so melodramatic how long burns continue to hurt. Like, girl, don't worry. You ain't going back on the stove. Learn my lesson. Behold. Burns. The portal opens. Oh, God, Henny, watch out for the snakes. You know a joke that never, ever gets old is when a character says something like, I will not go to place and that is final. And then it cuts to them in that place. I eat that shit up every single time. Equally good variant. When a character says something like, what's the worst that could happen? And it cuts to a scene where it's so much worse than what they imagined. Well... At least it's not raining. Oh. PLV, you're the king and I just made an inappropriate joke about your virility in front of the whole royal court. And you want to punish me, but you can't react in anger lest the court think my joke is true. <laughs> Only in New Jersey. 500 pounds of pasta found dumped in the woods. Fucking what? Hey. That is Papyrus's trap, you leave it be. Sealing in the heat of the coffee. This is what images are all about. Oh my God, that is so satisfying. I just, just want to touch it. Good, good thing girls aren't real, right? <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> She's standing right behind me, isn't she? Fun fact of the day. Don't use stairs as a bed. No matter how appealing it feels when you awake, you will not appreciate it in the morning. Thank you, soup. Writing prompt. You go to hell, but Satan tells you he'll send you to heaven if you can beat him in a game of your choice. Gay chicken. Either I win, or we have to start fake dating and eventually get married. Then what does it matter if I'm in hell? I'm half in charge. Modern problems require modern solutions. And finally... <laughs> what is transgenders even about? Vroom vroom cars turns into a robot? Transformers! Transformers! I meant Transformers! Transgenders? I got the words Jacuzzi and Yakuza confused. Now I'm in hot water with the Japanese Mafia. I didn't want to like it, but I did. Why don't you make like a tree and slowly grow while helping others around you grow too? What? Why would I want you to leaf? Wait, wait, uh, oh. Reblog if you have used dude as a non-gender specific term. Where I grew up in California, not only is dude generally non-gender specific, half the time it doesn't even refer to a person at all. I said it to a faucet today. A customer once came in to order a sandwich and I went, I want this dude. Dude is more than a word. It's an emotion. You know what I'm saying, dude? Come hither, fool. The fool jingled miserably across the floor. This has got to be the funniest sentence I have seen all day. I'm going to cry. Me getting my name called to get my order at Starbucks. Fun fact, my parents got married on April Fool's Day. So when I was seven, I tried to be funny and I made them an anniversary card that said, your marriage is a joke. And my mom cried. God damn, this one's so sad and funny. Sense has chased you your entire life. But you are faster. I don't know why they said this, but this is a world-class insult. Oh, to be a god dog given a chain of sausages by a burglar in exchange for my silence. The dream. Optimal posting time, stagger your posts. If you see me, you see me. It's in God's hands and I am not praying. It's in God's hands 
and I am not praying. Now, that's a yearbook quote. Is American football OSHA compliant? I'm going to personally make sure it isn't. <laughs> Happy anniversary to the time my mom ran into the living room because I was yelling and this was on screen. Slang adjective for someone you think is not what they seem, especially if they might be the imposter in the game Among Us. Oh my god, did this actually happen? YouTube chat, please help me out here. By the way, I'm the prettiest boy and the most handsome girl. So, just something to consider. Wow. You know, Michael Lafton is really just the video game protagonist. He has a tragic backstory. He's traumatized. He is hunting his serial killer dad. The best fake name he can come up with is Mike Schmidt. He's an arsonist. He's a corpse. He watches soap operas. He's a business owner. And he is dying for his father's sins. He's also British. My God. Hey, do you know? No, I do not. Don't ask me questions. You have the entirety of humanity's collected knowledge in your hands. I have my own questions about things I had to think about. Like what's the difference in calories required to lift off for a swallow compared to a seagull? That's a very good question, actually. Guys, stop asking me if my wife is single. You guys know I have a crush on her. Just stop it. Non-copyright infringing fictional version of Cookie Clicker called Muffin Multiplier. Why does that sound funner, though? Did you know there's a rat in Triceratops? Every Triceratops has a rat in its head crest, controlling it like ratatouille. That makes so much sense now. Hey, do you mind holding this? Uh huh. Uh, 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 please go back, please go back, please go back, please go back, please! PSA. Tetris now has an official Tetris McNugget at McDonald's. Disappointingly, it is only available in China. On a totally separate topic, does anyone else want to go to China? Every time a Tumblr user creates a new gender, a 4chan user creates a new political ideology. This should be a joke, but not really. Dear God. Hey, champ, do you have a, a skeleton that you're not using? Yeah. D Dad? Answer his question. I don't think the Joker chemicals really did all that when he fell in. I think he just wanted an excuse to be like that. The Joker chemicals made me crazy! That was a mild detergent. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're at a low point, if you were a fictional man right now, there would be at least 10 people, if not a large portion of the fan base, that would call you their wet, beast, poor little meow meow. Well, oh, thanks, man. God, my back hurts. I need someone to crack me over their knee like a wooden dowel. <laughs> oh, thank you. House arrest is so funny to me. You committed crimes. Stay home. And you know, in your dog's perspective, you are the slow walking NPC in escort missions. Oh my God, you shut your mouth. What is your most controversial video game hot take? The pursuit of photorealism in games is a fruitless endeavor that only results in bloated file sizes that take too much space. Mario is a woman and just really butch. Press A to be weird and unsettling. Um, I'm doing it and it's not working. Andy, help me! Hey, yeah, sorry. Your boyfriend lost a dual monster shadow game and his soul is now in the shadow realm. <sighs> Yeah, now he's stuck there forever unless you beat me in a game. Yeah, sorry. It's time to do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, Yeah. All right, this is spoilers for Tears of the Kingdom. So, Andy, slap a timestamp on when it's safe to come back to the video. If you don't want spoilers, all right, there you go. So, who's angry and jealous that Sidon got a fiance in Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, I think you're a little jelly. I'm not just a little jelly. I'm furious! <laughs> Beautiful girls named Severe Weather keep messaging me, so how are things going for you? Quite a jarring experience having a lot of new followers. All my posts that would usually get zero notes now get three. Relatable statement, except for the horrors. I had three fic ideas. Road one, I still have three fic ideas. This is not how math is supposed to work. Can this post please back up? It's too close to home. I have five ideas. I wrote two. Now I have seven. Listen, they're called plot bunnies for a reason, and it's not just because they hop around all over your brain demanding attention. 
99 fanfic ideas on my blog. 99 fanfic ideas. You take one down, pass it around. 137 fanfic ideas on my blog. This post walked into my house and kicked in my ribs. Messenger, what news have you from the Yowie front? I can't feel my legs. Ah, oh, shame. Rest in the dining hall. The Yuri nuns will attend to your wounds. Uh, uh, Gads, perhaps you may wait here. The nuns appear occupied. Wait, what do you mean occupied? <gasps> British people are so fucking cute. They call Christmas lights fairy lights. They call sweaters, jumpers, sneakers, or trainers. They say, you're all right, you're okay, instead of, how are you? I, I, I quit. Oh, you done messed up now. Andy, get them. I really thought you all needed to see this bunny shape chart I found on an official rabbit breed website. I need all of you to understand this. We don't talk about this enough. Look at Compact Bunny. My greatest fear is that one day I'll make a big post. Buddy, if you ever decide you want to make a big post, I'll be here to guide you through every step of the way. Every 